Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. And tonight, oh boy, we have some new Atari games. <laughs> we have the exclusive world premiere of Elevator Agent from John Shampoo at Champ Games, along with his regular crew of Nathan Strum and also Pat Brady on the team as well, doing music and sounds. Plus, we have a 7800 exclusive world premiere of Lunar Patrol Ooh. by Old Style who's also in the chat There's so well. much going on tonight. <laughs> and also Drunk Witch for the 7800 uh, by Witch. Carrie, who is in the chat as well. <laughs> We've got them all here. All the developers are so lucky. So 2600 tonight, and I'll put up the 7800 sign later as well. Um, so I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers. They talking about your earrings. Yes, yeah, they they're are very, pretty dazzling. They, they do. Festive. They do tend to uh, cause network cards to to they do to shut down. So. Yeah, I think that's definitely it's the, the earrings. issue. <laughs> well, we'll eliminate things one by one, starting with the earrings. With the earrings first. Yeah. <laughs> um, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers <laughs> who help support the show. I want to thank you so much. Arkham Seven, Armscar Code, Atari nineteen seventy four, Atari Age, Atari Patch Quest, Beer Pocock, Buck Owens, Chance of Donnie Mao, Charles the Check. Charles Wynn, Colonel Lama, Dino, Daryl, 1970, Direct Cell, Dark Moo Cows, Great Offended, Ground Trooper, your rapper, Johnny WC, who's right over there. Stay tuned. We have a live interview with him. I didn't say that at the top. Bonus. Yeah. Uh, Computer JRM, Carl G, Ken Jennings, Invader, Kveltifer, Lambda Express, Lauren TDZ, Mark Yannis, Mark Spacing, Mick Muse, Mike Soul, Mike Littell, MK Smith, Mrs. Arno, Mr. Fix, Mighty Funster, Neo Media, Nostalgia 26, Packrat, VG Cog. R. Anschwitz, RC70, Rendered Ghost, Repentless, VG, Smitty B, Spice, Where S. Ramirez, Teleprompter, Z Train, Welshman89, Tiki, Dan K, Tim of Legend, Tietfoes, Trek MD, 2600. If you want to support the show uh, and get your name read out very quickly by me at the top of the show, uh, you can just hit subscribe on uh, Twitch. If you have Amazon Prime, it's free. And if you don't, it's not free. Um, and you could resubscribe like uh, Al Nefer and Dan ABC and Nathan Strum did and Ground Trooper did just before the show. I don't know if their names are on there, but they'll be there on next time. Hmm. Um, and before we get to uh, John Champo and the exclusive world premiere, we have some not mail, but presents. Yeah. Because it's that time of year. It is that time Do you want to go grab them in the hall? Oh, are they in the hall? Yeah. And we'll see what we got. The cats got presents the cats too. Got pres oh, the um, cats got more presents than anyone we'll else. We'll talk has. about. Yeah, they yeah. got a lot of presents because they're very spoiled. Yeah. They're not good. <laughs> they're very bad cats. Yeah. Yet um, somehow they get more than coal every day. I don't understand. I don't um, understand. Tan, you got? Oh, yes. You can see someone uh, mentioned the jumping frames from Impossible Mission. Yes. The the flips. The flips. Yeah. Yep. So you I can like jump that. over the robots. Going across. Yep. And? Oh, yeah. Another Impossible Mission themed shirt. Thank you, James. You're welcome. I mean, Santa. Uh, that's yeah. right. Destroy him, my robots. <laughs> and what I got was the Atari 50th for the PS4, mm -hmm. which includes the interview with Tim of Legend wearing a, a Zero Page Homebrew t-shirt, <laughs> yes. which was crazy. Yeah. Um, so I booted that up, uh, saw the clip of him wearing the shirt. Played some of the games on there too. Played some of the too. games. There's some <laughs> decent games yeah. on here, like the reimagined uh, versions of, of the games. Of the originals, Really yeah. fun and played Black Widow as well. Oh my God, that's such a, such a great game. Uh, I got programming games for the Atari 2600. One day I will do it. I yeah. promise it. Um, by Oscar Toledo uh, Guitares, uh, who is an amazing programmer who did Aardvark. Oh, thank you so much, Kaboomer AA. Thank you for watching. Yeah. Um, so it looks like an amazing book and will definitely help me. I do plan on doing a game mm -hmm. next year during the break after the Atari Homebrew Awards. Oh, there we go. Yeah. So we'll see how far I get. I'll program something. Yeah, the pro programming book is for the cats. It's for the cats. That's what they got. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We have uh, to teach them to read first, but you know. And I got a whole bunch of things to repair consoles. Mm. Um, oh, that's upside down backwards. Luckily, yep. it's all Careful. held in place. The yep. iFixit uh, set of tools, the big set of tools. Yep. So it has all the Not special, a sponsor, just, you know. Not a sponsor. Yeah. <laughs> uh, reach out to me if you want to sponsor the Atari Homebrew Awards. Um, all the uh, different special bits mm. for um, video games and other uh, things with special screwdrivers. And uh, I was looking for uh, something to hold the 
these screws in. Yeah. And I thought this was the best solution, a pillbox. Yeah. So you just pop it open and it stays closed and you can separate them and it's tons of spots. So yeah. I thought that was good. Um, also the prying and opening tool assortment from iFixit as well, because that doesn't come with the kit. Um, and this just came today. Not a present, but well, a self present. A self present. Yes. Most most things are. Yeah. We you so I watched a video and I said, oh, you need to watch this video. Yeah. And then he immediately went out and bought. <laughs> so yes. we're we're easily suggestible people. Um. So ugh, it's very heavy. You might have to put it on the cat cam. I'm not sure. Um, no, it's big enough. It's a pretty big thing. Yeah. Um, you can't really tell what it is there, but I'll show you what all these little things attach to. A very heavy. Uh, metal base and what this is is for holding um, things you're working on and soldering and it's got uh, various arms that magnetize to it and a lamp as well that so you can brighten things up and also a vice arm as well so lots and lots of attachments uh, look like a really good kit uh, now I'll never get this back in, but <laughs> you know, we'll they pack things into this perfectly and then you're like, how did this go in? Yeah. Very never heavy base. So again. very heavy metallic base. Yeah. Very, and I was kind of cool. looking for something like this for a long time because the one I have is just, it's the cheapest thing ever. Yeah. Yeah. So I didn't know if I was going to really do a lot of it, but you've been doing more soldering and more fixing a lately. A little bit here and there. Yeah. yeah I just moved the, um, uh, the S video connector on my 7800 so it doesn't have to sit on a box anymore yeah which is very nice yes yeah you did yeah it's and it's I, nice and flush i didn't wreck it so you know to put over there too future looks good for soldering yeah um, you can play darts with the bits too <laughs> they are very dart like thing and i just ordered a magnetizer demagnetizer yes for the bits so yeah. that'll help too. yeah um i think that's oh and one tiny piece of uh news for the concerto owners and concerto uh pre-orderers <laughs> uh let's take a look at that quickly uh let's see yeah there it is uh so we posted this earlier today uh batari fred quimby uh tomorrow i will be sending an email to the concerto reservation holders so you can purchase a basic hokey mm -hmm. Uh, so people have been waiting for that. The reservation system was a temporary measure that I allowed you to uh, prepay the first $10 of concerto and be placed on a waiting list. You would submit your email, then you'd be emailed in order when your concerto was available. The email will give you a link to make the purchase so people will get their concertos and hokey um, chips as well. Keep an eye on your spam folders in case email does not go through. I want every reservation holder who wants a Hokie to have the first chance to get one. After the orders from reservation holders are all sent out, then I'll be sending emails to the rest of the concerto owners. Yay! <laughs> That's me. So uh, everybody who has a concerto or pre-order one will be getting the Hokie chip mm -hmm. soon, which is great. And you can put them in your concerto if you don't have one. And you can get all the glorious new 7800 music that's on and play all the demos too um so that is all the news jesse uh was saying yes. ivory tower collections was saying that means he doesn't need some of us anymore oh god oh I do. no I no do. no when he fries his, his whatever board he's working on <laughs> don't worry <laughs> i'll need you after i destroy the thing i'm working <laughs> exactly. on to fix it yeah. no no this is just for basic simple <laughs> stuff i can't do what you guys do oh my god uh, i would be so frightened um so we have john champo on the <laughs> line uh let's bring him up for uh is our special guest today to talk about his brand new game so exclusive exciting. world yeah. premiere on zero page homebrew of elevator agent hello john welcome how are you doing pretty good how's it going james hi tanya Oh, pretty good. <laughs> um, congratulations on your new game. Thank you. Uh, that's uh, we're out about to play. Um, I have a bunch of questions about it, but uh, let's boot it up first. Wonderful. You know, and take a look at it. Okay. Uh, let me get it ready here. So we can switch over. Okay. 
and I will play that wonderful jingle. Not even the jingle. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, here we go. You want to do the honors and press the button? Elevator. A G E N T. I've never heard of this game, Elevator Agent. <laughs> <laughs> it's a classic. Excellent. So awesome. Um, so, we've got standard novice. And advanced. advanced. Let me just turn it down a little bit here. There's my special 2600 uh, wrecking your uh, logo at the bottom with some color shift. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Apologies for that. It's a very special one. Um, so, um, we did kind of play this a long time ago on the show. Yes. A very mm. early build. Um, we uh, debuted it um, over four years ago wow. on uh, October 25th, 2018. Wow. It was a 2017 build of uh, Elevator uh, Elevator Action at, at that time, time yeah. I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, um, and it showed off using bus technology at the time. And um, I was also able to find references to Elevator Agent or Elevator Action in your Atari Age blogs dating back 16 years ago. Wow. Uh, on August 3rd, 2006, <laughs> asking if you should continue working on the game. So you were working on it even before 2006. Wow. This is a, a definitely a long time coming. Um, so. Um, let's start the game mm. so people can see the visuals and then you can step us if you could step us through the history and iterations of elevator agent it's kitty <laughs> bring kitty in oh kitty bring kitty in yep kitty wants to come in nice oh excellent nice. people like the cats so ah yeah, yeah. <laughs> ten is dead already <laughs> Shortest game of Elevator Agent ever. <laughs> Hi, Kitty. Hello, mystery guest. <laughs> kitty. Oh, I can. Oh, Kitty. What's the kitty's name? Sniffles. What's the kitty's name? Sniffles. I mean, it's actually missed, but I call her Sniffles. <laughs> oh, Sniffles. So it's Sniffles. <laughs> um, so uh, this looks absolutely amazing, and um, really, I can't tell the difference between the bus version and this version. So you've uh, been able to pull off what you thought you might have needed for the bus version uh, with CDFJ Plus, is that correct? Yes, exactly. So, yeah, so I started the bus version, I think, in January of 2017, and I stopped about, I think, mid-February uh, of 2017. Um, at the time, um, I was new to the, the bus stuffing scene, um, so uh, I was excited <laughs> to take um, advantage of um, the three cycle updates that you can get with that. Um, so this is the first game I thought of because all of the color changes that need to happen for the doors um, per line. So that's why um, that's right. kind of what inspired me to, to, to do that. So um, then, of course, we the doors are done with uh, Playfield. Um, I'm guessing. Yes, the actually. Yeah. Well, the doors themselves are actually the background color. Um, oh. Okay. Yeah. So the play fields, the, the building itself, um, it's actually a mix. Um, so to get around Yuck. the issue with um, with not having plus, um, I basically had to write a ton of custom kernels, um, and even then, yeah. I basically uh, the real challenge was um, um, not only writing all these specific kernels the timing, but also be able to reposition um, sprites in the middle so we could reuse sprites without having black lines. So I would originally done oh. CDFJ, I mean, yeah, CDFJ had a version where the uh, elevators were just hashed, it wasn't colored at all, and I thought that was the best I could do. Um, but um, once I started back up with CDFJ, 
Um, I had a few extra cycles where I was able to make some color changes. Um, and then the challenge comes at the bottom of the, um, the building when, when you get to it, where you have uh, up to seven color changes per line. Um, and that's where I really hit some, uh, some issues. So with CDFJ, what I did plus, actually I recommended that we uh, add a couple of features that allowed me to get four more cycles per line and that pushed me over the edge where um, now my reposition kernels are all 76 cycles, no cycles free whatsoever. And uh, right. that's how I was able to pull it off. So um, yeah. So this uses up the, the full width of the, the 2600 screen um, and you're not, you're avoiding the H move lines by using the full cycle count. Yes. Yep. And um, the background is the door. So the black background is the blue and everything else is color changed play fields like the gray the light blue um and the elevator shaft and the elevator as well yes exactly that's all color changed wow. in the background i mean it gets more i mean this was actually easy to do this this these levels so when you get down below yeah. and you have like a red door on the line um you have up to five right. different elevators which could all be a different color per line um, because you know the elevators are all uh, oh. offset, and then you have also yeah. doors on the side. So there's at the bottom levels you have two doors and five elevators that all have to be a different color. Um, so it's seven right. seven oh background color changes. Plus you have to uh, plus you're drawing two uh, two sprites uh, multicolored. Um, so one of the big concessions that I had to do um, to make this even possible is with bus I was able to use. Both missiles, ball, um, and you know both both player sprites. With this kernel, all I can use is wow. one missile. To uh, so all the shots oh. are rendered with one missile, but it doesn't seem to detract too much from the game. So, um, um, do you put the enemy uh, enemy fire on a different line than the um, player enemy fire, so they don't interfere? I've been watching closely. Um, but... No, well, you really can't do that because you can duck and fire. You can jump and fire um they can duck oh, and fire yeah, you okay. can jump fire while on uh, so there's really no um, no way around that yeah, yeah so yeah so but it still works out pretty well so um, and the opening of the doors um is that done with play field as well or is that uh, an extra um player sprite yeah it's actually a combination of the uh play field plus the uh um plus a player sprite as well so nathan came by yeah we were been sure I've actually been thinking about how we're going to do that for like five years, and uh, Nathan came up with a pretty <laughs> unique solution to com, um, combine the uh, play field with a uh, with, with a player sprite. And actually, it looks pretty good, especially when it's not like flickering. Um, so, yeah, and it's only for a a, a second. Yeah, a brief second exactly. And, if, it's, yeah. if it's happening, yeah. and right there it looked great. Yeah, right now, yeah, yeah you don't see it uh, flickering at all. So, yeah, looks looks amazing. Yeah, is there sound? Um, is there sound playing, or am I just missing it? Is it playing through the stream or something? Yeah, it's. I've turned it down locally. Okay. Okay, that's good. Yeah. So I don't have to hear. Because it. Okay. then, because that music yeah. is driving me insane. <laughs> insane for two weeks. Yeah, it's your favorite tune ever now. Yes, right? exactly. <laughs> you can um, um, you can mute the music if it if it starts driving you crazy just by flipping the right difficulty to to A. But I I actually oh, think okay. it's uh, considering. It's just TIA music. I, th I think it's sounds really good. Really so, oh. yeah, it is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, so, when did you actually like start thinking about making this game and start programming it? Because I did reference that you started like I don't know when, two thousand five, four. Yeah, no, I really probably was thinking about it then. Um, maybe just dabbling in, you know. Yeah. I think probably back then I just with the play field kind of drew the what the, I thought the building might look like. So I, I didn't make right. much um, headway until um, it was always in the back of my mind. And then when uh, Daryl had mentioned uh, that bus stuffing was available and what you could do with it, um, yeah. like I said, that's where I immediately thought of this game to say, okay, there's something where you know I could use those uh, extra cycles to change the colors for the doors on each line. So within like yeah. six weeks, the demo that you had shown, that, that was just six weeks of work of just you know Nathan producing all the graphics and you know, me throwing it together, um, learning the bus uh, technology at the time. So I'd say most of it was yeah. done in 2017. Um, yeah. Then um, 
then of course you know the issues with bus came along so um, right. i just stopped working on it on, in february of that year and really didn't right. think about it. i always wanted to finish it because it's um, this is a game that i really enjoyed playing um as a as a um you know back when i was in high school um yeah but um you know without the since I had done so much work on the bus, I was really burnt out on it and having to reboot it in CDFJ uh, or just CDF at yeah. the time just didn't really appeal yeah. to me. So I moved on to other things like Mappy, Galagon, things like that. So um, <laughs> I, I had plenty to keep keep me busy. But uh, um, on, on the surface, this looks like a simple game to make compared to some of those other ones. But because of all the things on one line, that's that's where the complication comes in, right? Yes, yeah, so this is probably the most complicated kernels I've had to write. Um, and that was, um, and before that, it was Mappy. Mappy was by far the most difficult. Oh, the the yeah. issue with those kind of games is that all the color changes that need to happen and special kernels oh, based on. You know, for Mappy, it was based on the kernel that had specific kernels based on where the building was and the location of the doors so i could change the colors of the doors when they were open and when they were closed when they were flashing you know and um so that was a challenge there with this one it's similar except that instead of you know position of the building which is constant horizontally it's basically the position of the doors and everything else like like this level right here with the door in the middle that's i mean the wall yeah. in the middle that was its own kernel, or the one above on um, floor 20. Um, that was probably the most difficult, right? Right, but I managed to pull it off. So, yeah, and, and luckily it's vertical scrolling game. Yes, exactly. <laughs> which the 2600 yeah, so yeah, so can handle just fine. Yep, it scrolls very, very smoothly. So it's, it's good to know. Yeah. Um, so speaking of the bus technology. Um, we did a show like a month ago on the plus cart and uh, some of those guys working on that technology says say they have figured out how to test for those broken bits oh, that's good on each of, of the on each of the machines um, and and be able to make an adaptive program um, to be able to handle bus technology now on any of the machines now I, I haven't seen this verified or, or not right, yet exactly um, so that still remains to be proven out in a game, I think, um, or, or a, a program. But is that something that you would um, consider continuing to pursue if that is a, a viable method of making games? Um, yeah, absolutely. If it's something that can be done um, reliably, again, you know, you spend, you know, it's as a technology, it's it's really cool. But you know, until yeah, until it's. Uh, you know something solid you know i don't want to invest too much time in a game that uh, yeah you know that, that you may have to abandon like 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 this game you know is uh had to have it sit on the yeah. shelf for five years um but you know it's, it's still the good news is that the time i spent on the bus version inspired me to look beyond yeah. outside the box to try to do something similar in uh, cdfj and uh and even expand upon the capabilities of uh, cdf and you know contribute to cdfj itself um yeah to get those four extra cycles i needed to to do what i wanted to do here so yeah because because this game is completely dependent upon the speed of what you can write on the screen and you had to make uh some changes to be able to make it work and that's that's the core of the game is the kernels Yep, is, exactly. is doing that. Yeah, after that. So and if the kernels aren't working, then you, the game isn't going to work, and you have to rewrite the visuals to to make it to make it work again. Yep, exactly. So once I got that solidified, it took like two months actually to write those uh, kernels itself and pour over, yeah. you know, what I had. Um, and like I said, I didn't have to make many concessions at all versus the uh, CDFJ version. So. Uh, um, I mean the uh, the bus version. So with that, I'm, I'm pretty yeah. pretty happy. There are some limitations that the naked eye won't be able to see. Like some doors can't be read um, because uh, of, just because of timing. But you'll never know it anyway because uh, you know to the you know the player, the player it'll just right. be you know you're busy. Yeah, it'll be a different <laughs> one that was 
you know, you would never think it would be right anyway, because the, the doors that are right are random anyway. So, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, so. Uh, that was actually my next question: is is the concessions that you had to make um, versus the arcade um, to port to port this game? And that was one of them. Uh, certain doors can't be can't be read. Yes, exactly. Um, yep. That, that's about that. And there's one elevator that. Um, it's actually right up here elevator like a seven or something like that that uh yeah um um should be one floor lower than it really is but i couldn't uh oh, squeeze okay. in the color changes and an asymmetrical playbill so right here on level seven you see the yep. four top elevators the one on the right the third one down i mean the third one from the right yeah. should yeah. be one floor lower um Oh, okay. But yeah. Again, but these are these are things that the average person isn't like an expert at elevator action wouldn't really notice. Yeah, of course. And I'm doesn't really now, change but... the game. Yeah. Oh, now people are going to complain yeah. and oh, he's really upset floor? about. The... Could you explain what happened on floor seven, please? <laughs> <laughs> the floor seven controversy. Yeah, and I'm in, I'm into my 400th game, and this door has never been read. Something's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, Yay! Tanya did it. Oh, there's the car animation. Oh, oh nice. Cute. <laughs> that is awesome. Um, yeah, because when it when people ported games like you know back in the 80s and 90s from arcades, there's so many concessions being made all over the place. So it's it's not even a concern. The the biggest thing is does it play? Does it feel like the arcade? Does it bring? the feeling that you get when you play it in the arcade over yep. and um of course this does as far as i can tell um anything else that you had to uh change or compromise other than of course graphics and no this, this... no the um every part of the game is in here except i mean just because of time constraints there's a few things that aren't implemented that i wanted to implement and uh um, right. And also ROM constraints. I think I wrote to you that uh, I ran out of ROM like yeah. so many times. And I've spent a majority of my time in the last month just trying to compress data, come up with algorithms to uh, squeeze out a few bytes here and there. Because um, with these all these custom kernels, usually I only use 4K for um, the Atari code. This one I had to use mm. 8, 8K um, for all the, the kernels. Um, Right. So just to, so what I did in a panic a couple of days ago is that I stripped out <laughs> all the non-essential code. So all like the the high there's no high score table in here, even though I had it implemented. Um, okay. That's all gone. Um, two player. Um, this is the, the challenge mode. You know things like that. Um, I just pulled out so we'd have something to play in 32k here. But yeah, uh, I may. I'm to to make the game similar to what what I want it to do. Uh, um, what I have plans for, I'm, I'm going to have to go to 64K, unfortunately, because I know that, you know, the big drawback with that is that it won't run on a Harmony card. Um, the right. ROM. So I try not to get to that. I mean, I could, you know, the game itself is fully playable in 32K, but if, you know, you want high scores, you want all of the stuff, it's going to have to expand. So what I'm, yeah. what I'm considering. And tur to, Turbo was, yeah. was a. 64 or 128? Turbo is 64. 64. Yeah. So it'll, it'll be the same. Yes, exactly. The same uh, bank switching technique Yeah. as Turbo? Yep. And Turbo is different than that. You know, to have the game playable, you, you need 64K. This one, obviously, you can see I get all the features. I could easily release a one player version just like this. No save key. Right. I probably could even squeeze in the save key if I spent some more time. And just have it yeah. be a one-player, no challenge mode um, kind of game. Um, but um, so what I may end up doing is just keeping this 32k ROM around, so people can still, you know, and I'll put the bug fixes into this, so people can play yeah. this on their Harmony. But then um, when, uh, right, if they want, they can buy the cartridge with 64k, or you know, when the ROM goes for sale, they can buy the, you know, I'll include both the 64k and 32k version. So they can play 32k on Harmony and right. 64k on Stella and whatever else. Yeah, because I wasn't thinking about the purchasable ROM. I was thinking, oh, it's just going to be on cartridge. Yeah. Nobody will know the underlying hardware that's going on underneath, so it doesn't matter. But with you know the sales of the ROMs on your site and also the future sales on uh, the Atari H store as well, 
um, they will have to have the cartridges to be able to support that. Or some cartridges, so exactly. Yeah. So I, I, I mean yeah. to reach out to Fred at some point and just see what his plan is, you know, because, right. you know, this, this is a bank switching scheme that they want to support. Um, so, yeah. but at some point, you know, they'll have to come up with a, a way to either, you know, have let people buy Harmony Plus Plus or Encore Deluxe, whatever it's going to be called, you know, and, uh, <laughs> so they yeah. can play these games and, uh, and any other games that are coming down the pike. So, you know, you like uh, um, Xevious is 64K, so there's just going to be more and more games yep. that are going to be using this technology that, you know, people won't be yes. able to play. So That's right. Um, somebody, uh, Caffeman 2D asked, how is the ball used, or is it used? It's not used at all. And the yeah. main reason is that I couldn't use it for the missiles because it's the same color as the play field, so you wouldn't be able to see it. In the original <laughs> right. version, I did have a cable going down the middle that was the ball um, because in the arcade ah, you can't jump across yes. or the same one here you can't jump across the top of a um, elevator and the cable in the arcade denotes that I got around that quote okay. quote by uh, well, once the screen comes back you can see that once she goes down above the uh, um, above the elevators elevator. it's like yeah. a, it's hashed you can see right there it's like black and Right. Yeah. So that denotes that you can't jump across that. So that's that's my uh, rendition oh, okay. of a uh, cable. It's just a little bit wider than the other one. So, but below you can jump across a ledge because it's right. The, um, I don't know. I've only I played it in the arcade. There was a place on the way home from school that I'd stop in, um, and then I've only played it on main. So, and, okay. Yeah. So I yeah. I don't think I've ever played any home versions if there are any. Well, we, we, we did um, show the the prototype of the uh, 2600 version last time we played it, but it, it was like, it was very rough. It was very, very rough. Very scaled down. Oh, yes. Yeah. Actually, um, I had bought um, yeah. the, uh, the version that they released, the box version they released at uh, the Classic Gaming Expo in 2001, uh, so about Vegas. Okay. So... Um, yeah, I, I was excited about that, but yeah, it was pretty unplayable, unfortunately, but it showed great problems, I think. Yeah, they, they were on their way. Uh, thank you, Ricardo Pim, for subscribing. Um, so there were some planned features that you listed in your uh, thread on Atari Age for this game. Um, one or two players alternating, um, plus a versus mode where one player controls the enemy spies. Is that still planned? Uh, yes, it won't make it into the... Uh... 32k version if that's the route i go but yes i actually had it it's actually pretty simple i just uh i had added the code in um where basically the next um, um enemy that spawns out of a thing um, you control right. until he dies and right then if he dies and you you control the next one spawns so it was a uh, kind of cool night you can change the colors of these guys so i think he was like all red or something like that. Uh, but you can, so you know which ones are yours. Yeah, exactly. So, so I'm not sure how it'll play. It will be too difficult if you have a guy, but um, that you know someone's controlling, can just run right after you. But uh, <laughs> yeah, it might be uh, might be really challenging. Yeah, the, but the, be able to find find out as soon as that's implemented, and maybe tweak. slow them down or yeah. tweak it in some yeah, way. Yeah, one of the things is that enemies don't jump, so that's one thing you have. Um, one advantage you have over them so that might be enough to offset it and be able to allow you to Cause remember once you shoot that guy then whoever's controlling the uh enemies won't will control the next spawning so for a few seconds you know you'll be able to right. get to where you need to go so um so yeah we'll see what's um, the next next one next one's multiple building layouts and colors and i think the second building that tanya made it to did have a different color already yes actually it has all four the arcade has four different color schemes and this has all four of them so i was able to get that in already um it does not oh good good yeah it doesn't have different building layouts per se um yeah. unfortunately what i was hoping that you'd be able to just you know mix and match the floors and stuff like that but um it's very specific the layouts of the kernels about you know Floor 21 over floor 20 has to have exactly certain kernels to make these color transitions work. Um, so I think that might be too challenging. But um, one thing that is different is that uh, if you notice when you get down lower, there are two uh, 
double elevators where you know there's an elevator on top of another elevator um, right so that is random that's just like the arcades what happens is uh as you progress through levels um which ones are double are are chosen so so that does make the game a little bit different so and certainly the okay. location of the red doors changes you get more red doors you have to collect the level as well um right up, up to 10 actually so it gets uh pretty challenging so yeah it's a lot to a lot to collect and and the enemies as the game progresses there's more enemies no the it's faster project, it's how does it work. get harder yeah I, I looked at a youtube video and the guy played like till level 50 or whatever and there's only ever okay. four enemies on the screen at once they just move mm -hmm. faster okay. and they're more aggressive um, but what we, what I have here is um, in novice so it's a maximum of three standard right. is four mm -hmm. and advanced is five so there is one extra so um, so yeah but there may be like other implications where you know standard you get more enemies as you play longer or I just haven't haven't had time. Yeah, so, yeah. but but there are different differences between between the three as far as how quickly they spawn, how fire, right. shoot you, you know, how many doors, the lives, you know. So there's plenty of differences between each uh, skill level right now. So, right. Uh, there's a, a question from Prow Seven. Was this game more challenging to make than Zookeeper? Because that. That's that's quite a lot of things on the screen at once, and some very tricky um, playfield manipulation. Um, this one this one looks much more, much harder, I think. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, uh, again just so it's kernels, and then what's really been killing me is just the logic of all the things your player and the enemies can do. It doesn't look like a lot, but you know uh, when they can jump, duck, um, shooting. Um, Climbing things, uh, you know, controlling the elevators, uh, you know, collisions yeah. when they happen. It's uh, I had to, I, yeah, I had to rewrite it like three times, but you know, I finally I got it <laughs> to the point where, you know, because I always had to be thinking ahead where I couldn't just make it so your play could do it. I had to have it so you know once um, so the uh, enemies are controlled by random, somewhat random AI, but it's uh, right. It's, yeah, yeah. Based what what they're doing is they're just getting commands like joystick commands saying you know, push joystick up down so if I want him to to the left say push joystick to the left um, so well that's smart because you're planning ahead for the two player yes. simultaneous and also yeah. sure that they'll behave exactly as your player does you know as far as you know uh, whether they're riding it's like, so they'll hop in an elevator and ride it down if they're uh, <laughs> um, you know they uh floor above you and vice versa so right. so they have pretty much the same rule set as the player they can't jump but that's just like don't allow them to jump but they can duck and shoot so they're very very similar they play similar to the player so that makes a lot of sense to yes absolutely. treat them as a player almost yep exactly so so yeah so when i first started doing it you know the play they could do everything the player does so you could even go into the right door <laughs> so i just had to put it on the code to say okay if you're an enemy you can't go into the red door or, and and stay out of there. <laughs> exactly. It was kind of funny. Could he go in and steal the uh, <laughs> the plant? But there's no graphic for that's, the. Uh, enemy. That's the challenge mode. You have to make it to the red door before they do. Yes, exactly. And <laughs> yeah, we are playing a challenge mode. I'm not sure what we'll end up doing with it. You know, probably some power ups. You do get points for squashing the guys, so three hundred points. So it's uh, it's always fun. Ah, yeah. okay. So, yeah. And somebody asked that earlier, but I saw Dania demonstrate. Yeah, I crush, just crushing one. a guy. Yeah, crush, 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 crush. and I, I think that the, the most trouble she's having is when she's on an elevator. She tries I try to, to jump duck or duck, or jump, and, and then like, it doesn't no. work. It's like, oh no! Yeah, actually, <laughs> you get well, shot. in the arcade, yep. there's two buttons. There, but... um, if you have a two-button oh. control, you can't jump in the um, elevator. Um, but you have to, oh. you have to have the second button. But you can. I did put it because that's pretty critical. But you, there's just no way around it. You can't move because you pressing up moves the elevator up. But I did put it in because when I play the arcade, usually when I jump, it's out of an elevator. So if you push up to the left, up to the right, uh, that does work. So you can jump in an oh, elevator. Oh, you can jump out. You just can't jump straight up. Okay. And you, okay. you can't duck in an elevator. Uh, but that, that's like the arcade. Um, because mm. it's really, but you can 
ride the top of, of an elevator. You just yeah, can't control right. it, and when you're on the top of an there. elevator, you can yeah. jump, you can duck. So, yeah, you can't push the buttons on the elevator. So this has Genesis uh, controller support? Yes, then? yes. Yeah. yeah, okay. We'll have to plug that in after the interview. Yeah, we'll try that out. it's much, uh, I don't know if it's much better, but certainly it gives you a little bit of firepower to just jump while you're in an elevator, so. And duck, so. Uh, and, and as it sits, this doesn't, uh, this doesn't have um, a save key, and that's a planned thing later, bef maybe before the demo, maybe not. Um, absolutely not for the demo. And the only reason is because okay. uh, um, I'm out of ROM, so I had to take it, that code out completely just to get all this stuff in. So, you know, if I go to 64K, then no one will be able to play it. So it's like, uh, that's right. It's, it's a, That's a whole different set of complaints. Yeah, it's a yeah. catch-22. So I'm just going to make a good 32K playable demo that I'll release tomorrow. And that make that makes oh that's that's cool. another my next question is is the uh, the the planned release of the demo and then the ongoing uh, plans for for this game as well. Yeah, so the plans are we're planning on releasing it in 2023. Um, there's no timetable yet, you know. It all depends on, you know, Al wants to release multiple games per year, so we'll see if that happens. If it does, then yeah. we'll release this before Turbo. Turbo Arcade is the other game. But okay. So, um, nice. yeah, so we'll see how that works. And uh, um, right now, uh, David Exton, who's done uh, the um, artwork for, I'm trying to remember all the games he's done, but he's definitely done Avalanche and, uh, and uh, yeah. Kicks. He's uh, signed on and he's already started the artwork for Elevator Agent. It's looking really good. Oh. So, wow! I I don't I can't even imagine what he would come up with for Elevator Act Agent because his his artwork is so gloomy and and it, it, I can see kind of a spy like a dark spy motif peering around a corner maybe and yep. uh, an alleyway or <laughs> very very dark and, and mysterious yeah I, I, that's gonna be awesome it's gonna be really good so yeah so and we yeah, have while i'm giving out uh credit you know certainly want to thank uh, nathan for all, all his help with the graphics um he did all the animations this is, there's been a lot of animation in between uh, the player and uh, oh yeah um and uh, and that i i think and even the door animation too. Yep, that was that was a big one. I picked up a lot of ROM, so I wasn't too happy with it um, as far as the ROM part is <laughs> concerned. But it's, it looks about as good. That's why I spent I spent a lot of time trying to compress that data specifically because um, right. you know, it's like it doesn't look like a lot, but there's you know each one is like <laughs> you know uh, thirty whatever thirty pixels high. There's like ten of them. That's three hundred bytes. Plus you need all the color yeah. information for them too. So. So I compress all that. You need it for the enemies and you as well. So it's like using almost yeah. half a, you know, you only have 32K and, you know, um, and you're using, you know, eight of it, well, two for the driver, and eight for the kernels. You know, 22K right. is not a lot when you want to just set animation screen to start the game. It takes up a 3K. Yes. It takes up 3K right there. So. Oh, jeez. Wow. But it's it's worth it because it you, the cinematics are, are really great in this. The car and the beginning where he's uh, rappelling into the building is yep. great. Yeah, that's a lot to it. Yeah, exactly. That whole scene um, took a lot. So and, and of course the sound um, was done by Pat Brady. Um, he's done the sound for um, 1942. Um, and uh, yeah. Oh yeah, great sound. Yeah. So I reached out to him and asked him if he was interested in doing this, and he jumped on board. So this is actually. Uh, the tune I um, wrote, which I think came out really good for, uh, for the TIA, for sure, um, it was actually the first game uh, we modified. Well, we, I used his sound driver and modified it. We modified it slightly. Um, it actually does two TIA updates per per um, frame to uh, oh, put, okay. put a, um, what do you call it, uh, notes that would normally be out of tune more into. That's always nice. <laughs> yeah. So and the, yeah. So just a data alone for the sound itself, a couple K sound driver. So you can see it's like you know when you only have thirty two. I've already said eight here, two there, four there. You know, it's all gone. Yeah, it doesn't leave. It doesn't leave a lot for, uh, for the actual game itself. And just the uh, the code to draw this building is like it's crazy to put this together. Oh yeah. Because again, each individual kernel needs to have 
you know, different code that fills in all the registers with the colors that it needs to be. And um, so, anyway, it's challenging to say the least. So. And uh, one more question from the audience before you before we let you go. Um, the curvy rope at the beginning looks amazing. How was that done? Yeah, that was done. Um, well, um, Nathan did all that, so he came up with the uh, frame by frame. It's basically just two eight-bit sprites alternated and changing, you know, um, location every frame. First, the uh, interesting enough, the straight part of the uh, rope was the most difficult to do because I had to. Oh. No, just because uh, it sounds silly, but uh, since it's going to the right, um, you need to shift, you know, the pixel to the right every time. But if you're using an early H move, um, so you don't get the black bars on the left, you can't move stuff to the right. The H move. So immediately, I was like, ah. So I considered <laughs> just flipping it and having it enter from the right side, but. <laughs> that, that would have been easy. You took on the challenge. Yeah, that would have been easy thing to do. So what, I, what I'm doing is actually using a missile and flickering at 30 hertz and alternating each uh, each line. So um, that's how I okay. had to pull that off. So it's basically repositioning the missile um, every other line and then alternating each line to, to pull that off. So And then the rest of the animation was done just using those sprites but the location and the way it's laid out it's uh um yeah i i gotta say the opening sequence and just the elevator animation title that that was probably a you know, couple weeks worth of so. <laughs> <laughs> wow it, it's always the unexpected things that uh are the hardest yeah I, I bet nobody would suspect that the straight rope was one of the hardest things yeah, to do in the whole game. I wouldn't think, think so, but yeah. So yeah, I think someone just asked in the um, in the um, chat if uh, Tiny has shot out a light yet. I don't know if you know you can do that. Uh, uh, can you shoot er, out a light? Er, early on, she did. Yeah, okay, yeah. When it goes dark. Oh yes, yes, yes. Yeah, so yeah, if you shoot some out a light, and, lights yeah. And, and if you're good, and you drop it on the uh, enemy, then you'll get. Um, oh. Really? Yeah. Wow. Oh. Go cargo! Yeah. Woo! Just so you know, if you get to the bottom <laughs> of the uh, um, building and you haven't collected all the documents, it'll actually scroll the um, screen all the way back to the top floor that has the, uh, the red door you missed. The one you missed. Yeah. Oh, um, and, that's got. And hurt. you have to make your way back up, though, right? No, yeah. no, it scrolls you all the way no? up automatically. We're thinking, actually, Nathan oh. suggested maybe for challenge mode that we have it, so you have to go back up and get it. I think that would be good for challenge mode. Yeah, because if you're that good and playing on challenge mode, you really shouldn't be missing red doors. Yeah, <laughs> there is one thing I did not implement that I wanted to, and it's basically a scoring exploit. That you can play this forever, and shoot things, because there's no True. reason to end the level, except in the yeah, arcade. No after about five minutes, basically the music stops and it plays some sort of siren, and oh. it's kind of like in Mappy, you know, when you take too long and. Uh, it goes in a hurry up mode and big panic mode ensues. Basically the same thing happens yep. here where the enemies start going crazy. And <laughs> interestingly enough, if you wait way too long, you can't control the elevators anymore. Which oh, makes the okay. game almost impossible. Like it slowly <laughs> the elevators start slowly becoming very unresponsive to the point where <laughs> basically you just have to ride them as you know, um, as they move. You can't actually control them, so You'll, uh, your life will end pretty pretty quickly if you get to that point and you take more than five minutes to end the level. So, um, but yeah, that'd be a cool thing to add in. Yeah, so, but as it turned out, I, know, so I didn't. I'll, I may put that in before the demo because it's fairly oh, straightforward cool. to do. Um, at least I think it is. I said about everything, but <laughs> never is. But um, <laughs> never is. Yeah. Well, um, anything else you'd like to add before we let you go? Uh, no, just uh, thanks again for uh, for uh, taking the time to show this game off. And uh, um, oh, of course. Yeah, so if anyone's um, wondering, like I said, I'll I'll post a demo sometime tomorrow, and uh, I also plan on posting updated final um, demos of uh, Core of Arcade and Kicks that will be built from the release version. So I think the you know, the versions oh, I have nice. out there are. 
you know, a few revisions back. So, uh, so we'll have Excellent. those uh, posted as well. So, and uh, that's it. So oh, great, great, great holiday gifts for everyone. Yeah, yes. absolutely. From so. from Champ Games. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you so much for coming on and sharing this uh, amazing new game with us. And I'm looking forward to uh, having the joystick in my hands <laughs> and playing nope. it. No, nope. no, Tanya's not going to give it over. No, nope. um, so, I'm enjoying yeah, myself it, too much. It looks, it looks really, really good. Oh, great! And I can't wait to play it. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it yeah. really is. Yeah, if you guys get have any feedback or anything like that, um, or um, you know, bugs that you find, I'm sure there are some bugs. I saw a few, but you know, there's nothing. Nothing terrible, but you know, we may have a situation where you jump through a wall or something crazy like that. But, uh, mm. Oh, Tanya will find it if she. If uh, yeah, it, I'm, I'm very good at finding the bugs. Yeah, exactly. So. Especially the jumping through wall kind of bugs, yeah, too. Yeah, those are always the fun. So, yeah, but just, you know, when, yeah. when, when you go in the door, Tanya, you can actually move the opposite direction to exit immediately. So you have. You, oh, I see. So, yeah, you can time when you get out, but eventually it'll kick you out. So. I see. So you don't have to waste too much time. I guess you could kind of hide in there for a tiny bit. Yeah, but it's good. So you can yeah. time it like so when a guy walks by, you can time it so you jump. Um, uh, and, I don't know if you notice when a door is opening, when you're shooting, the door actually blocks your shots. So uh, they use. Uh, like, yeah, it, that's a very cool um, part of it of the gameplay is that you can't shoot them right when they open the door. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. yeah. If you notice, um, so what happens is the levels get more difficult and you play higher skill levels. The doors open quicker. Um, so. And they shoot faster yeah, so they at come you out. too. Yeah. So. Like, yeah. Yeah. The timing is a lot harder. <laughs> yeah. RC70 says, "Did you just jump kick that guy? Yes. I, you probably." Uh, yeah. Yeah. You can jump kick them. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Someone uh, mentioned oh. it in the chat, and um, and I was Ooh, like, yeah, oh, that? so you can jump, do that, that, that arc jump, arc jump. Yep. Yeah, oh, and jump yeah. into wow. them, and it'll kill them. Yeah. yeah. So, level three, yay! Woo. Yeah. So there's many ways to kill them. Man. One is uh, shoot them, uh, drop kick yeah. them, squash them with an elevator, or uh, yeah, uh, the drop a light, or, or drop, yeah, drop kick them. So, and they they're all very drop points. a light down on them. Yeah. And just so you know, yeah. When, yeah, when you shoot a. Um, a light not only can you kill them with it um when the screen goes dark you actually get more points for killing enemies in the dark so uh, so yeah so there's a bunch of little scoring little uh, tips uh, so smart so yeah mm. excellent yeah, there's plenty to do plenty to explore and there's a uh, few uh few things like you can get up on that roof if you try um <laughs> Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, Ka Kaboomer says, I thought he does a new grapple hook on each level in the arcade. Do you know if that's true or not? Uh, no. Or not? Um, that's what I thought no. too, but I checked the name and no, it doesn't do that. I mean, I, I could okay. do that easily. It actually takes more code to not do that, but uh, the arcade <laughs> authentic. Oh, wow. um, I think, you know, in the arcade, yeah. they didn't want you spending time looking at uh, cutscenes. So, exactly. you know, they jump. They want quarters. Yeah, they, they, they <laughs> jump you right in there. Um, right on level yeah. 30 so uh um but you know maybe uh, maybe put that in as an option because I, I i like the opening scene it'd be cool to see it get a little break after each other level i think so yeah that is nice and put it in uh, like a difficulty switch or something like that so that's right yeah if there's something left over or some sort of secret code you can punch in <laughs> yeah exactly something along those lines so well, thank you so much, John. Okay, great. Uh, we won't and, take uh, up a any more of your uh, valuable programming time. Because um, <laughs> we know you program all the time while you're sleeping. On the plane, somebody revealed that uh, uh, Ivory Tower Collections was sitting beside you on the plane. Nice. And you were coding on the plane. Yep, that's so sad. we know you code 24-7 now. Yeah, it's sad, it's but been true, revealed. But, uh, um, yeah, I'll probably be taking, the, taking a little break after this. I'm going to get those demos out. But... Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll be oh, yeah, yeah. hitting the ground running because we have uh, you know, a lot of plans for for uh, 2023. Not just uh, finishing these two games, but we have a couple new ones that Nathan and I are working on. And, uh, it's oh, always very exciting. Uh, yeah, always something in, in, in the hopper for sure. So, oh, that's great. Well, thank you so much for hanging out uh, with us on a Friday night. Oh, wonderful! And, yeah, it was um, good, to, good to hang out. And thanks again, guys. And uh, happy early New no Year problem. to you guys too. So. Yeah, yes, happy, happy, new, year to you happy too. new Year to you too. Yeah. Okay, and thanks everyone for joining. And I appreciate it. Oh yeah, yeah. you bet. Okay. Uh, and we'll talk with you soon. Great. Okay. Bye, John. Bye. Bye. All right. Big thank you to John for uh, debuting his amazing 
elevator action a- elevator agent game yeah let's not, let's not get this wrong no 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 um and uh yeah how is it is it a fun hey so much am i gonna fun. take over your game you're gonna no, die no, you're on level three. Oh, that's fine you can play you play you haven't played at all you don't want to continue your level three game? no i'm just uh have you been um is this on easy um oh easy old mode? style redeemed catnip what treats oh are probably because what's going on because i don't have everything turned on oh no plus it was during an interview it's frozen no 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 it's fine oh that's scary yeah, I don't have that um, that option turned on right now. Oh no! It was well, crashing. Well, we should so. still do tree time. We will. We will. Yeah. <laughs> One at a time. Yes, yeah. we will do them in succession. These cats are going nuts, so <laughs> they we, are should, at we to probably should kick one give out. Them right now. Because one was chewing. Oh, you things. kicked one out. That's why they're going. That's why yeah. he's. Can you change it to black mode? Yes, I will. Sorry, I'm and just then... getting the chat back up. And um, and we will have more access. Sorry. Uh, the, um, Everyone for uh, the chat is not that. as visible when we have John on our our side yeah, screen. Yeah, so we just have a small screen can to look this for out, questions. Right? Hallelujah! Yes. Yeah. Can you turn it off? Or yep. okay. Yep. Okay. Uh, oh my God! I just yeah. rescued myself. You, oh, honestly, Barely. if you if you don't pay attention for one second, you get shot. That's that's <laughs> that's how it works in life, you know. <laughs> that's um, right. Okay, we're gonna do some treat time then. Oh, excellent! The cats will be very happy. Oh, about that. oh. Especially the naughty oh, one. Oh, the crazy cat! The naughty one that oh, was uh, locked. Do treats then catnip. We yeah. will, we will. One second. Uh, you're you gotta save for a second. Oh. Oh, yeah, the webcam is not acting correct because... You got the other webcam on? <laughs> yeah, no, because things I had to reboot. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Miss Command just subscribed! Oh, thank you, Miss Command! I died! I... <laughs> no. Sorry. Sorry. There we go. Oh, last life. Need a pause. Need a freeze. The cat, cat, cat cam's back up? Okay. Yep. All right. One, two. Are oh, we one doing up to down. ten? Up to ten. Yep. Oh, my oh goodness. My God. <sighs> okay. Game okay. Over. Okay. Now you can flip to this sprite Natari. Yep. It's flipped. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, one second. Um, and flip. Yay! Okay, Yay, one on one, one one. I can bring up all my noises again. Hopefully Are you gonna the, run away? He's gonna run away. Those aren't the things I'm making a crash. Hopefully. Yeah. Does color black and white Two pause one? in this? Um, let me just try that. Actually, I didn't see that. Maybe oh, reserve it for That something. was pretty good, but smack it, smack it. What is the controller using? We're using the oh, Bratwurst controller. Oh, where are we gonna switch as well? Oh, it does pause. Okay. Oh, there you go. Black and white does pause. <laughs> okay, okay, three, two. But we're going to switch over to the um, Genesis controller. You're going to try it with the Genesis? Because then you can Four, jump. two. You can jump. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Where's my treat? Yeah. Three, four. And he runs off with it again. Oh, my goodness. Oh, three, five. He's very good at ringing that bell. Three six. Get to oh. level four. Way to go, James. Did I make? Get, I did make it to level four. Did you? I think. I don't know. I was dying and being interrupted, and there's cats. And, but I will get to level four. Four. There we go. Now we have Jenna. Seven. He keeps running off with the treat. Got to shut the door next time. I know. Oh, now now Sprite has left to see if he can steal the treat away from Atari. What a silly cat. <laughs> very, very silly. Ready. There we go. Oh, what was that? Seven. Gamepad. Five? Hey. Seven, five? I'll give you, I'll give it. Oh, he runs off again. Okay, let's do novice again. Seven, six. Now I get or to seven. play a game. Five. Eight, five. Eight, five? Yes. He wins every time. Now Tar's gonna have to run further away. Yeah. Sprite running for interference. <laughs> yes. Nine. Nine. Oh, I Five. Watching. Yeah, you have to be paying attention to that game the whole time. Nine six. Yep. You look oh, away and don't, let the, don't let the don't let the blow. He's he's like, no, you can't have it. And ten. Ten. Ten six. Right? And an extra one whenever whenever Tar comes back. There you go. Yeah. So good I wonder kitties. how far you can fall. Down. Good. No, no, you're all done. You're all done. 
It's all done. You got no sweeties. They get catnip. They get catnip. All right, are we gonna do some catnip? Catnip time. Catnip, please. Catnip me, he says. Catnip me up. All right. Yeah, Atari just wants a good show. Agreed. <laughs> Now Atari's gonna have to run even farther away. Okay. <laughs> Tiny little bit here. Atari really likes to do the game, so. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <sighs> no! Oh! <laughs> no! Okay. And dead. <laughs> oh, we're back. Oh, you got the Genesis? Yeah. How's, how is that working out? Uh, it's not my favorite controller. No? Do you prefer the, the bratwurst? bratwurst? Oh, 100%. It's my favorite. Every time you say bratwurst, I get hungry. <laughs> I'm like, oh, sausages. Sausages. Mm. Just had dinner. We had Thai. Um, I know. Thai. That's true. Yeah. We no, did have... We'll no, that. not Thai. Vietnamese. Although, oh, Vietnamese, yes. Although, I don't think Pad Thai is Vietnamese, so they must be a bit That's of a... That's why I was thinking. ...bit of a mix of different, different Asian yeah. cultures. So. Bratwurst controller. Yeah. Somebody give a link to the bratwurst. Uh, I think no I has, saw. But up uh, above. oh, uh, uh, further up. Yeah. yeah. So are there I bullets you have to jump go. over? Uh, you can jump duck. over, but I find ducking is better. You can always duck them. Yeah, because then you. And whenever I jump, I mistime it. Whereas, yeah, you can shoot from a duck's duck position. So and you're safe completely. I, I, I kick myself every time I jump because it's it's instinctual somehow. And it's like, no, duck, duck, don't jump. But um, So if you duck, you can always not get hit by a bullet then. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah. good. It, unless you're in an elevator. Then and you then you duck. don't duck. And then you go, oh, I should have jumped. <laughs> no. Yeah, I don't think you can jump either. Yeah. Yeah, I was I was trying to pause and hit some of them. It's it, the higher levels are much harder. The Coleco version of this, they can shoot lower, so you're not always safe being duck. Oh, but not yeah. the arcade. The arcade, you can always duck. I'm guessing. Ooh. Oh, yeah, Coleco. Mm. So this has two buttons. I haven't pressed the second button yet, which I should. Yeah, it's for jumping. Jumping. Have you been doing much jumping? No, I haven't done. <laughs> you're just you're just going down. Are you oh, playing yeah. at novice or? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because all you need to do is go to the red doors. You don't. Ah. Oh no. yeah. Yeah. Well, you get points for killing the thing, the the, the, the guys. I know. I know. You're just trying to get. I love levels. Ahead. Novice. Levels. Novice. I got to level three, and then you took over. Yeah. Um, advanced was hard. They they come out and shoot so quickly that. It is, it is about timing, like it's, you really do have to time, because here there's such a delay, you can kind of pause and think about what you, what you want to do, but uh, advanced is harder. I like it, I like it a lot, it's a fun yeah. game. It's, it's not too hectic of a game. And it's not too hard to pick up, like no. I, I didn't know the exact controls and I was getting through it, I mean it took yep. a few tries to kind of figure everything out, but it's, it's, it's mostly, not a hard game to learn. It's mostly up, down, left, right, and yeah. shoot. Yep. Very, very. Oh, squished. He got squished up above. I don't think you get points for that, though. No, I didn't activate yeah. it. I think you have to be on the elevator to get those points. I shoot the lights constantly. It is fun to do. You <laughs> have to, you? yeah. It doesn't really disadvantage you. Oh, my. Uh, you can see them. My system is revealing uh, how things are drawn. Because <laughs> the color timing on my system, you can see the elevator going up and down oh. through the open door. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, that's fun. Let's see if you can. Oh, you have to get it there. Oh, oh, oh! oh you almost so got close. him. Almost. I wonder on the advanced uh, levels, they shoot quicker. They do. Oh, yeah. They they come out and shoot faster. Oh, he fell down the elevator shaft. These yeah. guys are not super bright. No. <laughs> no. They kind of randomly move, which is kind of fun. Well, the darkness confuses the enemies. Oh. Oh. Waiting for my elevator. Way down. Just keep on going until you find a red door. Yeah, this plays really well. Mm-hmm. As per us usual. Oh yeah. John That's does a fantastic job. <laughs> always. Um, oh. Oh no! What? 
There's no way. Huh? <gasps> what happened? You missed a red door somewhere? Uh, that's what it says I did. Oh, the, all the elevator's going crazy now. He's gonna squish me. No, you, um, you don't get, I mean, I'm guessing you, you don't get a bonus. John, but... I found a bug. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's supposed to end, isn't it? Well, he said if you miss a red door, it scrolls up to show you where no, it is. No, I, I think it... he wanted to implement that. Oh. Is that it? Oh, I don't yeah. know. Anyway. End of demo. End of demo. Yeah, exactly. I, well, it is. <laughs> uh, funny. So let's, Something um, happened there. Go to advanced. Yeah. I played all three. See how hard it is. Did you? Uh, advances, I found, yeah, a lot harder than novice was a good one to start. Yeah, it was a double exclamation, which makes me think it's saying, I missed one. But, but I didn't think you did. I didn't see you. Oh, it's um, no I way. mean, it's easy enough to miss like something. Like, the red doors but... are very visible. Unless it's yeah. the darkness that... Um, oh, maybe. That you no, don't no, because you see doors? the red doors in the darkness. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I thought. They stand out. Somebody comes on and fixes. Yeah. Your seat. Sometimes they're up in that corner, so you have to oh, go I up. Definitely don't but I, I think you would have seen it. Yeah. It's not oh, a 100% well. finished game. That's all right. It's all good. Still a uh, work in progress. But I think we found that. Mm. I think that's something. Well, it was something because I couldn't move. I don't find this a lot harder. But it is only the first level. I haven't tried to see if you can jump over the elevator shaft. Can uh, you? You can. That's what. Okay. I I was too uh, nervous about it to do it. Well, yeah. No kidding. <laughs> um, <laughs> are you the good guy or the bad guy? I don't know. It depends I if you're stealing plans from the bad guys or stealing <laughs> plans from the good guys. I think um, in the bad guys' eyes, you're always a good guy. True. Except in movies where bad guys are just. Stereotypical bad guy. Or you mean in the protagonist's eyes, you're always the good guy? Yes, in the protagonist's because yeah. you're the protagonist. Not in the bad guy's eyes. <laughs> yes. I, yeah. Sorry. That's confusing. So this, I shouldn't, I can't jump across. You can't. Because in the arcade, there's a um, elevator rope that prevents you. In this, mm. it's kind of like just a, Oh, I see. If you're blockage. above, you can do it if it's, if it's above you but not below you? Yeah, because there's something blocking mm. you above. Oh, squish. They're so dumb. <laughs> They're like, he's above me. There's an elevator. I love how they just randomly duck, too. They're like, and duck. <laughs> I feel like they're doing their squats. Yeah. Like, oh, we got to do some a little rest. calisthenics. Uh, uh, I should have pressed up just again. Just do some random squats in the middle of the hallway. Squat, squat. You are Agent 17. You look like a bike messenger just stealing <laughs> stuff from the office you That's had a right. delivery at. That's right. Hey, I have the, yeah. all these doors are open. Yeah. And Ah, yeah, ah, he does look ah. like a bike messenger. He walks out with something me. on his arm. I didn't even, I didn't even, it looks like this when he comes harder. out of the red door, he has something under his arm. It is yes, harder. Yes, he is taking yeah. things out of the room. Which is fantastic. I, I didn't really pay attention and notice that before, but that's a wonderful little detail in the, oh, oh. they can shoot you in the ankle and you die too. Yes. Yeah. You can shoot them in the ankle and they die. Was this a Taito game? Mm. Taito. Taito, sorry. Um, you play one more and I'll read a little... Oh, no! A little bit about it. Boo. Because I think I copied... Yeah, sure. The info. Elevator Action is a platform shooter released in arcades by Taito in 1983. Player assumes the role of Agent 17, a spy infiltrating a 30-story building filled with elevators and enemy agents who emerge from closed oh. doors. The goal is to collect secret documents from specially marked rooms, then escape the building. It runs on the Taito SJ system arcade system. So it was released for the arcade, Amstrad CPC, Commodore 64, Famicom, Game Boy, MSX, NES, PlayStation 4, SG-1000, Switch, ZX Spectrum, Mobile, and Steam. So a fair number. I, I never had this on the C64, I don't think. I don't remember playing it a lot if I did. Um, so you, your name is Agent 17 or Otto. Otto. Yeah. So like Agent 99. <laughs> yes. Um, so you're a secret agent. It doesn't really say whether you're good or bad. You're just a secret agent stealing documents. So hmm. along the way, you must use the building's elevator and escalator system, move from floor to floor, and avoid or kill enemy agents trying to stop him. After picking up all the documents, Otto can escape to the basement and drive away in a waiting car to end the level. 
Otto can move left and right, jump duck, and fire up to three shots at a time from his pistol. While Otto is in an elevator, the player can push down or up to send him to the higher or lower floor. He can run or jump across the empty shaft as long as the elevator is above him uh, and can ride it on its roof but not control its motion or cross to the other side. The player can also push up or down to make Otto ride an escalator. If Otto tries to leave the building without collecting all the documents, he'll be transported to the highest floor that still has an unopened red door and must work his way back down. In addition, if he takes too long to clear a level, an alarm will sound, the enemy agents will then become more aggressive, and the elevators will be slower to respond to the player's joystick movements. Ah, okay. Each building contains a section in which the lights are out, making it hard to see approaching enemies. On another floor, Otto can temporarily disable the lights by shooting one of the overhead fixtures. Otto is trained in shooting as well as karate. Karate! Otto can kill enemy agents by shooting them, jump kicking them at a close range, dropping light fixtures on their head, or crushing them with an elevator. If he is shot or crushed, or if he falls down an open shaft, the player loses one life. Oh, you can't duck. Mm. I saw the pink elevator bleed into the area behind a closed door. That's yeah, just, there is one, one area. That that's just it. my system. You think? Um, because my color timing is off mm. by one color, um, color clock. Um, you'll be able to see things when you're not supposed to. So on your systems, uh, it shouldn't do that. Oh, good. <laughs> um, you want me to play some more? Uh, more nope. Okay. I will play once more. Okay. On um, easy mode. See how far we can get. And then we'll move on. Ooh. Thanks for the pink video explanation. <laughs> you're very welcome. Yeah, this is, it's my system that's being naughty. <laughs> But it does tell you when the color changes are happening, if you were interested. I mean, you could also see them on um, Stella, if you did color mm. debug mode, and you'd be able to see when um, the color changes happen. Or maybe, yeah, you should be able to. In some form. I like Saturday how John was like, oh, I saw a few bugs, and I'm like, oh, really? I didn't notice anything. Oh, while you're playing? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, he, he knows. He knows what things are supposed to look like, <laughs> yeah. so. Hi, Black Kitten. Did you get there, enough treats? There, um, I think somebody was talking about my system and being able to make an adjustment for it mm. um, based on collisions. Um, because if the color timing is off, the collision will be off as well. Um, That's well, where it leads into the... I will deal with that. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, oh, there you can see it. Stinky butt cat. Uh, it's the RGB video processing causing it. Oh, yes, sorry. Yeah, I think it isn't my system. It's the RGB. Um, and the, um, the guy who makes the RGB boards um, is doesn't seem to be interested in um, um, making a fix for it, unfortunately. I doubt there's a simple fix that somebody can do. I don't know what I can do with this guy, because I've gotten shot, like, immediately. Because you can't duck. See, maybe that's what I was doing one time, and I missed it. Um, because I was trying to avoid somebody. And if you notice the little, um... Oh, I can't go down. Oh, no! Well, you get to see me crash. In an elevator. Squished. Tim Worthington. Yes, thank you. I mean, it looks great. The RB RGB is great. Um, but um, that's on the one bug, I think, in the RGB. Mm. It's a color timing bug. Which probably doesn't show on non-homebrew because the color timing isn't as tight on um, original games. Um, but on homebrew, it really shows off. <laughs> Um, Homebrew that uses some, some more advanced techniques. Yeah, duck on an elevator. Mm hmm. I keep forgetting that. So it's actually good to kind of hop off the elevator. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that you don't get that stuck. You add blood to the head crush. Oh. There you go. A little bonus. The, 
um, the elevators are on um, Sabbath mode. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because otherwise they wouldn't stop. <laughs> that, well, yeah. On every floor. They or would go or the agents floor. are hitting the buttons on all oh, the floors. Could be. And they're just going beep, 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 beep. And they just keep going. Yay. Yay. What was that? What was that? I had a few weird glitches of using RF to coax adapter on one of my uh, modern t TVs. Mm. Luckily, I garbage picked a wood grain magnifox CRT. CRT a few weeks later. Yeah. Oh, nice. yeah? What What's else? up? What else happened today? <laughs> Man. What would you like to say? Did you like the game? Yeah? It's a good game. Is it a oh, good game? Oh, I was going to say the. Um, you can tell what side of the door to open. Duck, 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 duck. Um, by the handles. Yeah. Cat. Yeah? Crazy cat. What's up? No, I'm not getting you more treats. <laughs> More he keeps, he's looking up at the treats, oh, like, course. um, I only got ten. Oh, oh my god. I deserve more than ten. I, I want more than ten. Yeah. I wonder if they got, they probably got more than ten when we didn't make it a contest. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes they would get so many. It's Maybe actually kind of good we're limiting them a little bit. I wonder how far you can fall. That was a pretty far fall. I, I don't think you can fall a full story. I think if you fall a full story, because I fell off one. As long as you land on a elevator before it gets yeah, to the, the, the bottom. I You can also get squished. I kind of got squished mm. in the side, too. So. He was on a mission to get to that shelf. Yeah. He's been thinking about it. He's stretched up a couple times. Yeah. And he sat a wandering cat coming out of the doors in expert mode. Yeah. <laughs> Accidental cat killings. Oh, <laughs> Poor no. kitties. Poor little kitties. Jump, jump, jump. I wonder if you move faster jumping than you do walking. I think you... Come on! Oh, it happens. Bastard. They're fast. Shot me as soon as it came out. This oh. is advanced mode, right? Uh, no, this is easy. Oh. Oh! Oh! They seem to be oh. shooting so quick. I gotta out of shoot the... as soon as that door. Yeah, opens. I, sh I sh just shoot it and it hits the door. Yeah. Yeah. That's just good. Straight. Uh, RC70. You need a game genie to get blood on an, an Atari like Mortal <laughs> Kombat on SNES. Come on, elevator. Uh, Don't go down. It's interesting that there is enemy action even on floors out of the screen. Yeah, you can see their shoes when they are one level higher. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is really impressive, actually. It is. It is. You see them, they, like, so John they're is constantly taking care coming of, out. So um, enemies, like, yeah. quite high up. Oh, he's trying to drop kick me. Yeah. Oh, you stay right there. No. No. And they control the elevator. They do. They, yeah, they do push it down. Like he said, they are they are exactly the same as you. Yeah. Oh if you see the door, open, duck, and wait. Yeah. Yes, duck. Yeah. That's duck, also... Duck and wait is good. Smart. Actually, on the advanced level, I was trying to do that a little more, which was like ah. duck and shoot, because you can shoot them in the ankle. So, um... <laughs> And they Shot his feet mid-jump, yeah. Rated M for mature. <laughs> yeah, if Atari wanted blood, they could put blood in. <laughs> the cat is losing his mind. His fluffy little mind. His fluffy little... Yeah, we hear you crying out there. Shot his feet in mid-jump. Yeah. Man. You calm down. He has, in the last few months, become the chattiest animal. So chatty. He just talks constantly now. So what did they get for Christmas? The cats. Yes. They got a cat dancer, which is basically wire with cardboard on the end that bounces around. And this guy jumps five feet yeah. to catch He's it. He's a really good jumper. Uh, it's actually terrifying because he lands so hard, but he jumps up five feet and lands. Yeah. So you hear him slamming on the floor. Um, oh, but no. yeah, he, they got a cat dancer. They got these little pucks like little round pucks of catnip, catnip pucks, that yeah. stick to the ground and they lick it and it spins, ah, which ah. is really kind of funny. Yeah. Um, what else did we get them? We got them a laser that has yes. has attachments for different Christmas themed like laser pictures so they can chase a snowman around the room. <laughs> <laughs> and it was the first time um, uh, ever Sprite seen one. saw 
a laser and he he lost his fluffy mind. Lost his Atari mind. could have cared less, which like, was funny. Eh, He's like, that. that's not real. I've seen this show before. <laughs> that's yeah. not that's not a thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. um, Jumping is faster. What else? What else did we get them? They got more they both got more gifts than us. Oh, they got a yeah. um snuffle. Thing. A snuffle rug. Snuffle rug. So you have to explain that to people. I saw it on Amazon, and it's it just made of like that papery material that sometimes bags are made of, but it, it looks like a big flower, and it's got all these parts that stick out of it. And what you do is you you sprinkle treats into it so that they have to use their nose and scent out the treats so that it's a snuffle rug they have to snuffle through it and i think it's for dogs but it, it's for dogs or cats oh, yeah. and so they'll just sit there and like trying to sniff and stick their face in it and try and find all the treats in it so that was really cute <laughs> and they love it yeah they, they love do. hunting uh, cats like a challenge they do like a challenge yeah whether it's a puzzle or trying to find things they yeah. love challenges it's hard not to buy stuff for your cats. Because <laughs> they're cheap. And... and they have so many toys that we oh. didn't want to get more little toys. They have so many stuffed toys. Like, we have toys from previous cats. We have a bin that's, like, full. Full. And we they should probably out... get rid of some of them because um, some of them are pretty not up. And they bring out um, the toys when they want. The toys. They yeah. Just pick them out of the bin. Yeah. Like, I want to play with this one today. It's like having a having kids. Like <laughs> yeah. They like, don't put it back. They don't put it back. So you wake up in the morning, there's like 10 toys all over the floor, which I find really funny. It's very cute. Oh, that guy. No, no, no jump. Okay. There's my car. Level three. Should go to level four. Excellent. As long as you got all the red uh, doors. I should have. What mode are you on seems easy. It is novice, I think. This is novice. Yeah, novice is, is easy just to show off the levels and yeah. the colors. Advanced is, is a, a good challenge. I, I couldn't get through level one in advance. It was pretty hard. I'm sure it's, a little bit of practice, but... I think people um, that are really good at the game can... Plow get, through it? Get, yeah, on advanced. It yeah. may not be hard enough, but I haven't played it enough. <clears throat> yeah, seems a little too easy at lower levels. I always remember yes. it very hard at the bottom. Yeah, advanced mode... Um, <laughs> Advanced is the level you want to play it on. Yeah. Ah, no, don't. Oh, you can't change mid-course on an escalator. After Red being unable to catch the later laser depresses them, I started feeling bad. Really? Oh. I have no clue if it's true, but I feel like I see it in their faces when we use it. Oh. You just have to give them a I... treat at the end. And yeah. then they'll be like, oh, I played, I ran, and then I got a treat. Yeah. And then you won't feel so bad but yeah they can never catch it that's i also feel like it, it it's tiring to do that for uh, a long time so i i, I when yeah. you play with them i don't play with them for too too long no because they um they do get bored too they're like uh okay. i don't know about depressing them i mean no. they love chasing things they love, love chasing bugs they don't catch bugs most of the time and if you um, heard our story the other day there was a, oh. a mouse in the house and they <gasps> love that oh my goodness happy i kept cats. them occupied for an hour and they kept the mouse occupied for an hour, too. And then we caught the mouse and got rid of the mouse. Put it outside. Was Everybody was happy, even the mouse. Well, traumatized. Traumatized, but but uh, Relieved? fundamentally not not torn to bits by two cats. So seemed in one piece. I don't know. Ah, go down, run. <laughs> if you want a real challenge, look for the 1994 arcade sequel, Elevator Action I've Returns. Uh, uh, yeah, I saw pictures of that and it looked looked interesting. A lot more uh, advanced in graphics, obviously. Um, oh, got the light. Um, they did. Um, yes, they Atari did. Atari caught the mouse. And they were like, "What do you have in your mouth? <laughs> yeah. What, what <laughs> yeah. are you eating?" Yeah, for the people who didn't hear the story. Yeah. Uh, we were sitting watching Netflix chilling and all of a sudden the cat comes running into the room with something in its mouth and you knew right away it wasn't a toy yeah, it's like, and I was like it's just a toy and he's like no 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 and he different. grabbed it his tail was kind of up which yeah. is like he was really excited and, and ran. ran right to the bathroom downstairs with it yeah. and um, and yeah then you came running up she, he's like cut oh my god come down and I'm like what's going on and he had a mouse and then he let let go of it in the bathroom so the mouse playing with it, yeah so the, the mouse was in the bathroom which is good and then um, we were trying to figure out what to do because we didn't know where it was, but we knew the cats would find it again. 
and then then Sprite got in. So we let left them in there for a few minutes because we were trying to figure out what to do. Yeah, it's like, how are we gonna get catch this mouse? And oh. then you said you went in and Sprite caught the mouse in yeah. his mouth yeah. and started growling like he was a feral cat. <laughs> yes. Just like, uh, I am the cat now. All of you, I'm gonna rip you to shreds. If you come near me, it's my mouse. Yeah. Um, and then, then, uh, what happened after that? Oh, then he lost it again. Yeah. Because as cats do. Pet. And um, after he lost it, um, it was uh, in the We toilet were bowl. trying to figure out where it was, and they were sniffing around, and we had like a toilet brush, and yeah. it's in a holder. <laughs> And the, the holder kind of closes around the toilet brush. And so we got pretty lucky because the mouse ended up in the holder and we could just take the whole thing outside. So we didn't, it didn't get die, unfortunately. Anyone ever get stuck on a stalled elevator? Stalled one? Oh. No? Well. Like uh, on a, in a real life cafe, man? Like in a stalled oh, elevator? Oh, no, I've never. Oh, that's, no, that, I, that sounds, sounds terrifying. <laughs> I was in the building of somebody who got stuck on a stalled elevator oh. for an hour, um, just like a month ago, and I saw them just get out. Bye bye, guy. <laughs> just get out of the elevator. Really? And they just got rescued. <gasps> and How then we're awful. like, should we take the elevator? And I'm like, no, we'll take the stairs. <laughs> um, Is that Geo's work? Oh, I I think I've been in a stalled elevator, but not for very long. Like too bad no high score. It's a great score, James. Yeah, yeah thirty thousand. Woo! What's on you? Yeah. Uh, yeah. We forget forget our domestic cats are still predators. They turn feral really fast. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Suddenly it's all growling and spiky fur and right. poofy tails, and you're like, oh my goodness. You're a real cat. Yeah. <laughs> you're not just a. Cute all ball. cute sunshine and roses when <laughs> when the treats come out, but when yeah. when it's like pr prey, it's a, they're a whole different animal. So yeah, they're all cute. You guys look really they're cool good. in the dark. I love them in the dark with the yeah. silhouetted blue. Yeah. yeah. Ah. Ah. Uh, I like how you get the little hint of the door opening too. Yes. And the, the light in the background. Yeah, Nathan did a it's great really job on the graphics and colors. Oh, I did it at a hotel, but not for for too long. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm I'm positive I've had to like call, like oh no, like be on an elevator and call them, but I don't think John I was on for bug. more than a few minutes. John Bug, it's frozen. Yeah. Oh no. Um, I was going down on the elevator and I jumped I jumped off the elevator. Oh. I didn't fall off of it, and now it's oh no. And there's no enemies either. You can try pausing it. Oh no, there's no enemies. Yeah. And I could try pausing it. See if that helps. When a cat catches a mouse and brings yeah. it to you, they're showing you that they are doing their keep. That's I right. I had a cat bring a bird to my mom once when we were outside. Yeah. So there's two bugs. I've, I've also done, I've heard, done my job. <laughs> yeah, Actually. I've also heard they suspect that... Um, they think you're a terrible They hunter. think you're a terrible hunter, so it's like, this is how you do it, <laughs> friend. This yes. is how you're supposed to See, catch prey. Catch this? <laughs> That was awesome. So much fun. Oh, I'm plugging the controller. Plug it back in. I don't think it was a controller thing, but yeah. It could have been. It could have been. That's true. That's smart. Next time. Next time. Too slow. Um, so now we have the exclusive world premiere of Lunar Patrol. Woo! I don't know if Old Style's still in the chat. <laughs> I know. I know. Uh, it's going to be a long show today, which is, is which is fun. Friday. And it's also, you know, before the long weekend, at least That's for me. Right. So it's all good. Old style. Oh, Lordy. Yay. Yay. Still around. Excellent. <laughs> I once found half a mouse in the basement. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. Nobody wants um, to RC70, half a mouse. I had a cat when I was a kid who we figured was kind of like a, like a Norwegian forest cat or a Maine Coon. Like he was big and fluffy and he was a huge predator and he was an outdoor cat. And his favorite source of prey was baby bunnies. Aww. And he would catch them, bring them through the cat door, and my mom would come down to the basement where our, where our um, washer dryer was and find disemboweled, like, bunny rabbits, blood all over the place. Ew. And it was like, oh. <laughs> he, was, he was a little too good a hunter, unfortunately. Okay. Oh. So this is Luna Patrol, exclusive world premiere by Old Style. 7800? 7800? Yep. Yeah. So, Are we flipping it up? Oh, yeah. Let's flip it up. Get it up. Woo! 7800! Every time I do that, I think back to a Red Dwarf episode where 
they have to go to red alert mm -hmm. and uh, Crichton says are you sure that does involve changing the light bulb the light bulb because <laughs> it's a blue light bulb and they have to change it to a red light oh bulb. like actually unscrew it yes. yeah nice so I'm like oh I have to change the yeah are uh, you sure okay <laughs> Exclusive world premiere! Yeah. Patrol. Luna Patrol test drive 144K 2022 12 28 by old style. Okay. I think I've got everything switched over. Press the button. Other button. Whew, Look at go. that. One button's jump, the other button's fire. Uh, gotcha. Press fire. There we go. Some volume. Jump over the pits. Shoot the oh. rocks. Oh, too slow. Oh my god, that's beautiful. <laughs> what a beautiful death. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Old style. Beautiful death. That's kind of death. Might as well leave so, a good corpse behind. Uh, old style uh, made Mario Brothers for the 7800, uh, which is to be released. I would just oh. keep going fast. <laughs> Don't slow down. I know. I and know. now Luna Patrol. Um, so Moon Patrol, obviously is a port of, mm -hmm. is a 1982 arcade video game developed and released by IRM. It was licensed to Williams for distribution in North America. The player controls a moon buggy, which can jump over and shoot obstacles on a horizontal scrolling landscape, as well as shoot aerial attackers, which we haven't seen yet, because Tanya can't jump over pits. <laughs> just go fast. Don't really bother fast? Slow. Yeah, just go fast. Yay, made it to marker A. So you can see on the bottom, there's a... Uh, oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Great animations explosions, yeah. Okay, we'll get past this, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Moon Patrol is often credited with the introduction of full parallax scrolling in side-scrolling games. Nice, So nice. you can see on this one there's multiple levels. Beautiful, yeah. Of, uh, of parallax scrolling. It's uh, you, then the mountains, then the distant blue mountains. Nope, this is a very uh, early uh, work in progress. So uh, no music yet. <laughs> So you can shoot the bullets that they're shooting down, or you can slow down and speed up to avoid them. And you want to shoot them so that they stop dropping them off on you. Excellent graphics in this in this version. The enemies and the enemy explosions are beautiful. <laughs> I need to get Bobby on that stat. Hopefully. So Old Style contacted me on February 5th with the first build of Moon Patrol for me to check out. And uh, I've been uh, playing it and testing it out um, ever since. And I've been anticipating the day uh, when we can actually show it on the, stre on the stream. Um, so he's working on... Okay, so those make pits, so prepare to jump. Oh, not fast enough. You have to keep, you have to keep that speed up, yeah. don't you? So those three ball Better. guys yeah. drop uh, bombs that make pits. So Yeah, I, I knew that, but I just didn't realize okay. I wasn't going fast enough to jump over it. So, so he is working on Greater further uh, levels on this. This one goes to E, but then repeats and gets a little harder. Okay. Yeah, it was that long ago. I looked it up. I'm like, wow, February. But it takes a while to make games. People uh, yeah. people don't know because behind the scenes, there's a lot of time, lag time between when they first start working on it and then they're programming it. Then it goes through beta testing and then polishing. And then it's ready for people to see. And then maybe it's not ready for, you know, for a demo yet. Ah, uh, slow down. And there's lots of different explosions and deaths in this, actually. Yeah. Look at this. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's so nice. Okay. 
I love the dust kick up when you land. Yes. yes. It's a very nice little um, rocket like, look thrust. At that. Bit of screen shake. Oof. Lots of details in this old style. So many nice details. That was... Ah, no. Oh. oh, that's another death we haven't yeah. seen yet. Yeah. Skidding and the back end got, uh, broke. Only one life. Yeah, you just go until yeah. you die. Yep. Yeah. I like games like this. <laughs> I do. I in, actually do. In the do. original version, there's actually lives. Oh, are there lives? Yeah. Oh, okay. That'd be too brutal. Love the shock absorbers. Yeah. What mode is this? I think this is just one. There's no, just one mode. No, they're talking about graphics mode. Oh, sorry. I didn't know the <laughs> context. Yes. I'm, I'm sure that's what they're talking about. Yeah. Uh, they, it actually falls towards you, which is a little misleading. Yeah, you yeah, it really falls to the right. Watch. It falls to the right, so Oof. it's hard to dodge. It is. It's uh, and it doesn't explode right away. It kind of mm. goes a color and then explodes, so it's a little like misleading mm -hmm. when you if you hit it or not. And the wheels are legitly following the terrain. Le yes. Yes. There's a lot of details oh, in this. Oh, it's so it's so you good slowly looking. Slowly figure out. It's like yeah. oh my god. It's so oh my good god. Looking. Uh, oh my god, that was... No, go back! Oh! oh! Level C. Wheel yes. physics look amazeballs. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Tilt forward when jumping off a slant, yeah. I, oh, I even really? like... No! <gasps> oh! Found a glitch. <laughs> when I got killed in midair. Yeah. Tilt forward when jumping up a slam. Really? Hard for me to see it from that yeah. plane. Yeah. Yeah, the physics in this is unbelievable. Yeah. Maybe it was an optical illusion, says RC Sony. So nice. Yeah, I played this a lot on the C64. Did you? Yeah. yeah. It's so much fun. What was the C64 version like? Uh, it was uh, fine. It, it was it was very good actually. Was it? All the levels. Yeah. Um, graphics were fine. Yeah. The handling was fine. I'm playing terrible right now. Mm, Dias uh, Skilos says the game audio is out of sync. Don't tell me that. Well, we had to, to reboot it, like three times, so yeah. I'm not entirely surprised. It might be a little off. Uh, oh. There's another crash for you guys. That one's cool. I do that one looks fix cool. It now, um, I think. So let me know if the audio is now uh, in sync. Oh, you jumped when yeah, you shouldn't have jumped. Sorry, I was just jumping around. We're all lucky to have audio. Uh, yeah, watch. exactly. Audio is a, a privilege tonight. <laughs> I wonder if that uh, the yeah, audio being out of sync is related to the other issues. Do you think? No. It's hard to tell. It's such an extreme issue um, of the computer completely crashing. It's not frustrating watching the crashes because they're kind of beautiful. They yeah, are. Yeah, they are beautiful. It's not so bad uh, seeing the deaths. <laughs> oh, I don't like this guy. Is it in sync now? Anybody tell? No. Oof. That was close. That was very close. Plan on giving the ships the same crash life. Oh, oh nice. Well, that was close. That was really close. Keep forgetting which button is which. I know. It's really bad. I'm like, ah. ah. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, it just caught me. Oh. C. C. I did make it to D. To the did towards you? the end of D. Yeah, I almost okay. think D. D or E. Almost to the end of the first chunk, mm. and then I died. Because <laughs> in the arcade, you get like a little reprieve at the end of E. At Do least you? in C64, you get like a mm. small pause and it. But you said they were. Uh, jump. It's fun to just jump. Um, Head of the game. Oh. Yeah, we've had a bunch of audio issues in the last few streams. Yeah, and I fiddle with it, and it's like, oh, it's working, and then it just doesn't work. 
Yeah, on stream. Makes yeah. Me insane. You would think it would be easier to. Oh, oh, I... oh you shot I it. Shot it. Oh, you were lucky. Yeah. Lucky, lucky, lucky. I love the enemies too. They they have so much personality. They do. They they, they like turn, turn around and look around. They have um Drop weight bombs. to them. They yeah. have momentum. And this is easy mode actually. <laughs> yeah, I always think that level A post sign is going to crash you. Like the post yeah. signs look like you're supposed to shoot them, but then then you can't. But there's there's depth to it, so you're, yeah. you're not gonna crash into them. They are very luckily. distinctive, at least. D. Oh, these guys, I made it to these guys and died. So yeah, that's gonna make it crater. Crater makers. Crater makers. Oh, oh, you're almost at the end of the level. Jumpy, woot! Made it to the end of the demo. Now it Is just kind of gets a little harder. Ah, uh, I see. It's just repeating. It's ah, yeah. uh, gotcha. Old style. Good job. Yes. <laughs> this looks amazing. Astounding. The graphics. It looks the so physics, good. Um, the handling. Um, everything about it. Ah, uh, bombs super... drop faster, so they do drop a little faster okay. as you go. But everything's super polished. Oh, it looks so good. good. Everything has so much um... personality. Personality. Yeah. 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 Yep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's a wonderful start, says Carl G. Mm -hmm. Bombs dropping. Oh, he's still alive. No! It's gonna take off. Oh, come over here. No, oh, he's gone. <laughs> it's like, nah, not worth it. So he goes back to A after you get to E again. So that's his second. Know. This is the third year. Yeah. I want to try to implement an A to Z run non-stop. Mm. That would be amazing. Come on, I'm going hang back there. There you go. Yeah. Ooh. Sometimes your only hope is to shoot is it. Is to shoot it. You have you to be very careful. It. Yeah. Yay! Yay! I'm getting slightly better. Explosion. Go. I'll let you do one more. Do one more? Yeah. Okay, I'm not going to get as far Makes as that. Except for the No Amico version. Um, the, the, the one, the portable handheld Moon Patrol was not bad. I didn't mind that one. Uh, the Amico. It's the only game they really put out. <laughs> it's one one game on, on, um, on the phone. Oh, they had Maybe? a phone version? Yeah, of Moon Patrol. And it was, it was close. Yeah. It was okay. It's okay for a, a start of a game. I don't know if anybody else played that one. So, oh, there we go. No! Oh! I didn't mean to jump. Explosion. Ah. Yeah, one more or? Uh, one more. One more. Okay. Yeah, one more. Let's do it. Hi, Grey Cat. Hi. Did you did you uh, lose your crazy brother? <laughs> I bit him, and he stayed upstairs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is Carrie still uh, around? I played just the 2600 and arcade version. Actually, yeah, talking about the 2600 version, it's really good. Yeah, the, yeah. The, the 2600 one, I, yeah. I f is that the one that we played I've it, played? We played it during like the full run of when we did the marathon. Okay, okay, yeah. Because yeah. I'm it's, like, I played this game, but quite I don't good. remember what, what version of it I played. Right. Okay, yep. well, I think that was terrible, but that was f amazing. The game is beautiful. <laughs> the short demo is way better than my 10-liner, oh. which also started <laughs> as a parallel X scrolling demo. Ah, yeah. nice. Yeah, so this is absolutely stunning and beautiful. Yeah. Um, so, oh, Carrie's still there. Um, so old style, 
Oh, he's going to share the demo. That's what I was exactly Yay. going to ask if uh, if he was going to post the demo. So look for that in the uh, Atari Age forums um, of the demo of a Lunar Patrol, which mm -hmm. is a great name. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, everybody n quite understands what what, what the Lunar game Patrol is. is. Yeah. Uh, okay, so we're going to be moving on to our uh, third and last game tonight: oh. Drunk Witch. Okay. Do I need to bring the accessories I down? I think it's time to bring the accessories okay. in. So All right. Set up the little table. All right. You can set. And I'll get things set ready. Set here, and I'll get the rest of the stuff. Yeah. Okay. So we got a little table here, and we're gonna do something a little special for Drunk Witch. You should be able to see this. Yeah, in the cat cam. We'll just put it just on screen. Well, thank you for making it old style. That um, it's one of my favorite games because it's it's a shooter and kind of a platformer, but not really because you're jumping, but you're jumping over things, which platformers have a lot of. So it mixes those two things. Um, so I, I really love this game and I was so excited when Old Style told me about um, that he was um, working on it. Actually just shared the demo with me uh, without even telling me he was working on it. So that's really exciting. And I'm really excited about Old Style's third game that's coming up, oh my goodness. I really want to get him on the show um, to introduce his third game because that's that's absolutely stunning. Um, Drunk Witch, is it time to put up the After Dark sign? Uh, yeah, well, we won't. Well, maybe we will. After Dark's kind of its own separate thing, but um, maybe next time we play it. <laughs> James is turning Drunk Witch into a drinking game. Hmm. Ivory Tower Collections is is uh, I think he's uh, onto something there. Um, okay, let me straighten out this. There we go. Wait for Tanya to do some cutting. A uh, hint, yes. Uh, okay, so let me get that. Okay, I've got. I'll put up. I'll start the game. How about that? Reboot this, get the game up. There's no intro, so. There we go. All right, so, oh my. Yep, straight down there. You sure? Yep. Can you put the alcohol to one side then? Okay, yeah. <laughs> or in front of it so we can see oh, all of it. Goodness. Oh, he's under the table. What are you doing there? <laughs> he's so silly. You are so Was he there the whole time? I guess so. Oh, we were wondering where you were. Probably should be the other way around. Uh, no. That's uh, all good. Can you see it? Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, it should be the other way around. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, they're both heavy. Yeah. So, move that there without breaking stuff. There we go. That's Oh yeah, you can see things much better there. Make sure that's kicked out there. Just don't want to be faked. There we go. So okay. what we did is went and bought, I think, 95% of the ingredients <laughs> in the game. 95. There are a couple of items I didn't get, but... Uh... So there's a good shot of everything. Teddy is going to do a master class. <laughs> I'm I'm no bartender, and yeah. we don't have half the stuff we probably need, but that's okay. <laughs> Ooh, Elvira! Yeah, what's up? That's amazing. Yeah, that is. So we've got uh, almost all the ingredients that are in this game. <laughs> so let's just check what the ingredients are in this game. Okay, we've got. Uh, I don't have curacao, and I don't have Campari. Curacao, vodka. We have vodka. We have yep. rum. Cointreau. Yeah. Well, I've got. Triple sec, close juice. enough. Juice, got some juice. Yeah, grenadine. Grenadine. Whiskey. Whiskey. Gin. You got gin. It's cranberry gin, Coke. but Coke, yeah. Campari. I don't have Campari, so, and I have vermouth. So I don't have Campari, I don't have curacao. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. And I've got Angostura bitter, so yeah, yeah. Amaretto. I have amaretto. Bourbon. I have bourbon. <laughs> tequila. I have tequila. <laughs> Cherries. I do have cherries. We have some maraschino lemon. cherries. I have a lemon. I have a lime for good measure too. Tonic. I have tonic. Yep. Yeah. And ice. Yes, I do. And brandy. 
Uh, yes, I did buy brandy. So we're missing just two items. Yeah. And uh, Tanya doesn't like those items, so... Well, I, I didn't want to be... buy anything I probably wouldn't drink again. Yeah. So Campari I'm not a big fan of, and Curacao I just I don't really like either. So I didn't want to get a big blue bottle of orange liqueur to never use it ever again. So, um... so we're fully stocked now. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody Mary? No, I, I don't remember any tomato juice on that list, but that's no. okay. James would love a Bloody Mary. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Brandy. Yeah. Oh, all the jokes are coming now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this is uh, this game. I think this game is sending a bad message. Yeah. It is. It's not for children. <laughs> However, it is It okay. is New Year's. I had to look up the rules on Twitch for playing this game. Yeah, you were concerned. I was like, what can we do with alcohol on Twitch? <laughs> what is... Okay. What is okay? And luckily, it's the third game as well, so YouTube won't know this. We're doing this. Yeah. I don't know the rules on YouTube. I yeah. don't care. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, but Twitch, you're allowed to drink. Yes. Um, what, as long as it's not harming yourself or others. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> that's a, that's it. I mean, that's I've seen rules. many streams where someone's drinking a beer or a glass of wine. Yeah. So I. But I mean, this was a. This is. This is. This and is a lot. People can even donate to make people drink. Yes. On, the show. on so shows. It's, it's pretty. We're wide not open. adding that. To no, our... we're not. <laughs> to our alerts. No, no. 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 That's okay. Um. So this was first posted December twentieth. This builds from December twenty seventh. Forty eight k game made by Carrie uh, Caxon. Caxonen. Um, who also made Pirate Cove and a ton of Lynx games. Nice. Um, it uses the TIA music only. It was pretty much tailored on a PAL system, so the music runs a bit faster on NTSC. Mm -hmm. The goal of the game is to attract followers and get likes. <laughs> so this is literally like a Twitch stream simulator. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> these things are what matters to bloggers. That's uh, once you manage to make all 16 drinks, so there's 16 drinks to make, Okay. you win the game and get the nice end of shift message and you can go to sleep, which same, same here. <laughs> um, some of the drinks are quite famous, like the Godfather or Screwdriver. Oh, I don't know, don't know drinks Godfather. at all. That's terrible. Well, we can get, we can get help from the chat. Yes, that will make it an interactive game. Yeah. Okay. Um, but there are also, uh, less known ones like El Presidente. Obviously, you don't attract followers by making the same drinks over and over again. So you have to make unique, 16 unique drinks. Okay. Um, you are trying to show your talents as a bartender by blogging on your own Drunk Witch channel. Uh, <laughs> unfortunately, your audience is all the weirdos and trolls found on the net. Try to survive by mixing quality drinks to attract followers. Nice. Up, down, left, right, browse flasks, uh, fire, pour, pour, drink, pour into cup, and then fire two to drink it. Okay. Um, the team behind it all, Carrie Kaxanen <laughs> and Walter Lauer. Uh, all the nice nice stuff like trolls insulting you, bad drink reactions, feeling miserable as you get no likes will be added mm -hmm. to the game later for a small monthly subscription fee. That's a joke. Um, whenever you manage to get a known drink, you will attract a follower to your Drunk Witch Bartender blog. That's the so current fun. game to t contains 16 named drinks thanks to Gambler172 again helped me to meet my goals. The goal of the game is to get as many likes as possible, but you cannot get more likes without attracting followers as well. Mm -hmm. So let's start off easy, I guess, and do a screwdriver in the game. Okay, okay. Which is... Um, so you pick, you make a drink, you make a and drink then it tells you if it's a real drink kind of after thing? After you drink it. Oh. You go, that's terrible. Okay. So you go vodka. And you're you're a witch, so you can <laughs> teleport it over. Gotcha. And and it vodka and juice, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you go juice. So that's just two items. Yeah. Okay. And then you drink it. Screwdriver. Yay. And you gain a follower. Okay, that's cute. That's cute. Yeah. I get it. I get it. <laughs> is this like strip poker? I hope not. <laughs> We're gonna get in trouble then. Yeah. No, I don't think it is. <laughs> Uh, this is definitely a unique concept. It is. Uh, and you have to have some knowledge going into it. You can't just yeah. be like, oh, well, you are, can Are random. we going to go back and forth then? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. So, so that's one. So I'm going to write that down. <laughs> so just, we don't do it twice? Just so we know how many we've done. Um, so if I pick... There's no soda water, right? Uh, yes, there's... Well, there's tonic. Actually, it's not. So if I went... Quintro. Oh, what do I what do I do to pour it? Just kind of like those bamboos of jelly bee things with some horrible taste. Yeah, that's true. Um, she she won't like the bad ones. Tequila. 
I get... See, I tried rum and coke and it gave me pathetic. Oh. <laughs> Maybe you needed ice? So, Cointreau tequila... There's no lime, but it, did you did you say somewhere that lemon stands in, I in for think lime? There's multiple, like there's juice, right? And is there ice in this? Try lemon. Uh, there is ice as well. I don't know if it's just it's only three ingredients or it could be two. Well, it could be two. It could be any number. I probably I did it wrong. Well, you can try it out now. I hold down the right one. And I'm like, oh, nope. Nope. <laughs> Too many ingredients? I thought that was a, that was a margarita. Is there plain fine. water? Vodka water is my drink. Yeah, vodka water. Well, mm. ice. You can let it melt. I put ice in, but maybe I did it the wrong way around. Ice, rum, and coke. Try that one. Oh. Yeah, that would be easy. A Cuba Libre. <laughs> it can be any number of ingredients, Carrie says. So just straight rum and coke, right? You don't need ice. But or should you, you put ice? ice in first? Like, does does I the order matter? You're putting rum as well? I ice, put... rum, and coke? Ice, rum, and coke, yeah. Okay, what is that? So that's a, well, it's rum and coke, but it's it's probably pathetic. Kill uh, me now! Try no ice, just rum and coke. No, oh. you already drank it. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> it's an empty, okay. e empty glass there. So let's try that again. Or does so if I just matter? do, okay. okay, let's just do rum then. And coke. Apparently, I'm not very good at this. <laughs> Martini, sh Coke, and juice. Coke and juice. No rum and Coke drink, I guess. Do you have to clean it out or clear it out? No. I, I, once you drink it, it's cleared, right? Am I confused? Martini should be easy. What's in a martini? Coke and juice? Ice? Dan, you just tried ice. Didn't we just try ice? Maybe rum and coke and it didn't work. And try rum, rum and, and coke and ice again. Maybe you put something in accidentally. So you just hit the. Hold it down till she she pours it. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I feel like the real Elvira would oh, absolutely maybe. endorse this game and her likeness be official. You could reach out. Doesn't say Elvira. <laughs> Put, I put a lemon in. See if that matters. Oh, you put lemon in? Yeah, see if oh. that helps. Maybe you need lemon? Because lemon. No, I put in. lemon in. I put lemon, this rum, time? coke, and ice. This time? Yes. Oh, did you do... Oh, okay. Hmm. Maybe it needs to be in a specific no. order. No, the developer said no, it doesn't. Okay. <laughs> What's going on here, Darlin says? <laughs> well... <laughs> Gin martini, uh, uh, vermouth. We're making virtual drinks, and then we're gonna make some real drinks here. I mean, it's just gin and vermouth, isn't it? A gin martini. See, I don't know my drinks at all. Not doing very well. No, we've only made one drink. Do I? Have to, there's no shaker, right? So. Uh, virtual shaker. Coke, rum, and ice. Oh, I thought we tried that. I could just do gin and tonic. Yep. Yeah. And if that doesn't work, ice gin and tonic should work. Does it have to be three things? No. Pathetic. pathetic. So... No. So, gin... Gin and tonic and ice, then? Oh, it's a lot of suggestions now, so... Okay, try. what what are we trying? Vodka? Try the gin, tonic, there's and There's no ice. cranberry. <laughs> well, there's, there's juice. Gin and juice. Vodka, grenadine, and juice. Try that one. Sure. What? Vodka, grenadine, and juice? Yeah. A gin and tonic should work. Does it just need ice? Maybe. Or do I have to do something really... I'm going to try ice and okay. gin and tonic. Does it matter how long you hold it for? As long as it pours, I'm, thinking, I'm sure. You don't know that. No, I don't. But he hasn't said no. You need more bugs in your drinks. Bugs? There's drinks with bugs in them? I guess there's drinks with worms in them, but bugs? And then, do I put a lemon in? I don't know. Oh no, this is harder than it seems. <laughs> I'm missing something. 
Do I need the, lo the lemon? This is much harder than it seems. Vermouth. Try Roy, uh, Roy Rogers, Coke, Grenadine, and Cherries. Ooh. Oh, it's too late now. Let's just try my gin. Where's my gin? Where's the gin? How did I miss? Oh, there. So, what are you putting in this one? Gin and vermouth. Just gin and vermouth. Okay. Yeah. Okay, it's time to make a drink. Ah, uh, that's right. Maybe rum coke's not one of the 16. So there's only 16 d drinks programmed in. Roy, what is it? Roy Rogers Coke Grenadine and Cherries. I'll that sounds nice. I'll put that nice. in, and you make a drink. Me? An actual drink. Coke Grenadine and Cherries? Is that what you want? <laughs> sure, yeah. You don't want... Do you want booze or no? <laughs> Doesn't matter. Just make something. Coke, uh, Grenadine, and Cherries. Tequila and juice has to be there. Coke, right? Grenadine, Coke... Whiskey bourbon and rum, yeah. Oh, there's cherries. Coke. Grenadine. Alright. Coke. Roy Rogers for James. That's right. Pathetic. No, no Roy Rogers. <laughs> Ingredients for White Russian. No, there isn't. There's no. no milk. It's New Year's Eve somewhere. It is. Is it? <laughs> Maybe. Is it? Is this no. <laughs> I think it has. It's oh my full. goodness. Get James tanked up. Uh, I don't really like alcohol. On, on Roy Rogers. On yeah. Roy Rogers. <laughs> okay, let me go back to Black some Russian. suggestions. Yeah. Vodka, peach snaps, and juice. Okay. No peach snaps in there. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, vodka, grenadine, and juice. Okay. Juice. Ooh, you should, that's what I'll give you. Vodka, grenadine, vodka. and juice. Okay. With a cherry. And then grenadine. Black Russian is Kahlua and vodka. Kahlua is not on the list, unfortunately. Oh my god, that's not in there either. <laughs> oh. We'll figure it out. Is there cranberries? No. Was there cranberries? No. It's cherries. Uh, Coke, rum, and ice? Did we do that one? <laughs> Coke, rum, and ice. I tried all of the Cokes, but it, it might not be on the one of the 16, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, what's tequila sunrise? Oh. That's that's juice, grenadine, tequila. Ooh, sun and comfort and squirt. Nope. No Coke rum and ice. No. What was that? Coke. Where's the liver damage? Coke, here? rum, ice, and lemon. Okay. Uh, Coke, rum, ice, and lemon. Judgment and skipping the curacao and campari. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of it. <laughs> tequila and juice, yeah. Tequila sunrise is tequila, juice, and grenadine. Coke, rum, ice, and lemon. Here we go. Ah. It's just oh, no, Coke, rum, ice, and lemon. Tequila and juice, okay. Let's try that one. Juice. I should have brought some napkins. <laughs> oh. mm. Coat, juice, and tequila. No! Yeah. <laughs> this game's too hard. Or needs more uh, needs more possibilities. You want this over here? Yeah. Sorry, it's a little drippy. So we've I... only got two mm -hmm. so far. See how you like that. 
Oh, here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is it mixed? You got the stir stick. There you go. There you go. Thank you. What is Nolan Bushnell doing to drink? <laughs> oh. oh, did I forget the grenadine? That's pretty good. No, I poured a touch of grenadine in there. Yep. Yeah, yeah I got nice. the grenadine. I got the grenadine. That's quite nice. That's peach juice. Night, Spiceware. Yeah, good night. Thanks for hanging out. <laughs> so, we need more suggestions. Grenadine. You forgot the grenadine. With what? With the what? The tequila sunrise? Oh, tequila juice and grenadine. Okay. Yeah. So, tequila. Yeah, don't forget the grenadine. That's the best part. Juice. with the amaretto. Oh my god, where's the grenadine? Oh, there it is. Yeah, Coke and grenadine is cherry Coke. What are, what's a drink with amaretto in it? Oh my god, finally. Tequila Sunrise. Yay! That's three followers. Three. Amaretto sour. Yeah, you need egg in that. Hmm. Brandy. I'm not great Coke with... Coke and grenadine. Sure. Doubt there's non-alcoholic drinks in this. Yeah. Psst. Do it. Hey, stop it. Yeah, you'd think some people would follow you if you willingly drink bad drinks. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. it seems like there are a lot of channels that do that. Coke and grenadine, mm, pathetic. Sour mixes, lemon and simple syrup. I don't think they tried gin and juice. Okay. Right? Have you tried gin and juice? Nope. Yeah, might juice. as well. Juice. Gotta be in there. There's a whole song about it. <laughs> oh, it's not in there. Sorry, Snoop Dogg. Mm. Are all the drinks three ingredients? Nope. Uh, they no. aren't. Vodka martini. Is that vodka and vermouth? Cognac. Contro. And Quinch. lemon juice. Ooh, cognac? sidecar. Thank you, Kaboomer. I've never had one of those. Cognac. Where's cognac? Oh, I don't know if we have cognac. There's no cognac. No, we have brandy. Tequila, Quintero, and lime juice. I tried that, but I put ice in. Tequila. It didn't work. Tequila, Quintero, and lime juice. Okay. I mean, lemon. There's lemon, but I think I tried that and it didn't quite work. Tequila, lemon, and... Quintero. Vodka, vermouth. I, they didn't need ice for the gin martini, so it might be just vodka and vermouth. Yeah. Tell me now. Nope. Not no. working. Try try vodka martini. Try vodka, vermouth, and ice. Just just try just vodka, vodka and vermouth, vermouth first and see if that works. Vodka. Yes. Oh, just vodka and vermouth. Yeah. Okay. What's in an old fashioned? Anyone? We're terrible. We're nope. definitely not bartenders. <laughs> vodka uh, and vermouth. <laughs> Vodka and vermouth and ice. All right. You're going to have to start looking up uh, drinks. Yeah, we will. <laughs> <laughs> is There is Coke. There is Coke. There is Coke, RC70. Vodka, vermouth, and ice. Let's see. Amaretto and Coke. Ooh, that sounds good. I'm going to have an amaretto and Coke. Yeah, is that your drink? Yeah, we're going to go Nope. That way. Vodka, vermouth, and ice does not work. Amaretto and Coke. We're doing that like one next. Oh, there's Coke. This is one of my big... Old fashioned is wink whiskey, simple syrup, and a twist of orange. Okay. Amaretto okay. and Coke. I don't think they have sugar or syrup, though. So messy. Nope, not Amaretto and Coke. <laughs> <laughs> these these do exist, these drinks. Oh, Just, yeah. This game does not know This about game them. has only 16 drinks in it, so. Mm -hmm. It's a limited menu. Hey, good night, Kaboomer. Yeah, good night. Amaretto and, amaretto and whiskey. Really? Okay. Nice drinking with y'all, too. <laughs> <laughs> amaretto and whiskey. Is, Is that a whiskey? thing? There's whiskey in this? Oh, there it is. Just Ooh, I used love it. amaretto. Oh, the smell is so good. Godfather! Ah, is that usually on ice? Amaretto whiskey. 
Oh, well, that's the person who made the game. Yeah, he's right. given us. He's given us tips. <laughs> I unfortunately I don't think the game has everything for a Long Island iced tea. Uh -huh. <laughs> Bourbon, Angostura, water, and a bit of sugar. Hmm. Angostura bitters. Pretty sure I used to do amaretto whiskey shots. <laughs> uh, I do a whiskey. What was the last suggestion? Uh, bourbon Angostura. Is, is there no Angostura in this? Yes, there is. Okay. There is. So, bourbon, Angostura, water, and sugar. There's no water. There's ice. Yeah. Angostura, and there's no sugar either. So we'll just do Angostura, bourbon, and ice. I don't think I've drank Coke in a really long time. No. Uh, I don't have any fo have followers yet. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Nope, that didn't work. <laughs> bourbon chem- Empari Vermouth. Carrie is giving up and is giving us hints. Yeah. <laughs> Bourbon, Campari, and Vermouth. Campari. This is how we learn. This is how we yeah. learn. Although amaretto and Coke. That's good. That's very sweet. I mean... There's Vermouth. Oh. So she's drank 46 shots of <laughs> alcohol yeah. and other things. Americano. Ah, interesting. Bourbon, Campari, and vermouth. <laughs> um, okay. So we're going to have to look up some, some drinks now. All right. Let's find something um, unusual. There's lots of uh, drink web. Well, or use my uh, tablet, maybe. Rob Roy, Whiskey, Angostura, and Vermouth. Uh, Mr. Zarnawoop, thank you. I'm gonna try that one. Okay. Whiskey, Angostura, and Vermouth. Okay. Oh, gotta get that. Pour. Oh, my computer crashing. Forgot all my tabs I had opened. That's okay. Grab my tablet and look up no, drink. No my tabs that I've had open for a million years that I just haven't got to. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, those are gone. Let's see. Uh, oh. Drink ingredient websites. Make a cocktail from what I have. <laughs> this is like the super cheater. Yeah. <laughs> Manhattan. Oh, did you? I should know that's a Manhattan. That was Mr. Zarnawoop. Thank you. Or... Oh. He, ha he said it was a Rob Roy, but I guess it also is at Manhattan. <laughs> there you go. I thought the Rob Roy had grapefruit juice in it or something. Grapefruit juice? Hmm. Oh. Karakak. Anyway, I wrote the Lynx version <laughs> starting one week before the deadline, oh. and the 7800 did not take much more. Thanks for covering it. Mm, very it's very welcome. cool. It's, it's fun, and I love Elvira. That's amazing. Yeah. Rob Roy with Scotch whiskey. Oh, what did I put? Whiskey, Angostura. Oh, with Scotch whiskey. Oh, okay. So, I have Irish whis Irish Coke. Irish whiskey, not Scotch whis whiskey. Um, the Coke. Oh, <laughs> We're cheating now. <laughs> yes. Uh, gin, can tequila, lemon juice. Hold still. What's in a Long Island? Long Island iced tea. I've had them. I just have no idea what's in them. They're a weird mix right of now. different things. <laughs> the reason I started watching Twitch was for drinking and rocket league. <laughs> I uh, love ZPH uh, uh. Embra is embracing the format. <laughs> Funny. Mm. Grenadine. I was listening to Cassandra Peterson's Cruelly Yours while writing this game. Uh. That's cool. Oh, triple sec, gin, and coke. Well, 
Now there's a million things we can make with these ingredients, so okay. this isn't going to help much. Um, I think we have Cointreau, so we'll go with that. Mr. Zarnwoop knows too much about these topics. Oh. He says. Anyone who um, likes a good uh, cocktail. I just can never remember what's in them. Oh, <laughs> that fail. didn't work. Juice, vodka, and cherry. Yeah, that would work too. Let's give that a try. There's a gin and sim. Oh, no. It involves two. Maiden's Prayer. Lemon Drop Extraordinaire. This is a Snoop Dogg. Is there? Juice and Gin. We already tried that one. Screwdriver! Hey! Oh, we, already, we already did that one. <laughs> yeah. You don't get points. Oh, sadness. <laughs> uh, we did. I think oh, we're missing a, the simple syrup. There's a Vodka Sunrise. We did tequila We sunrise. did tequila. I'd probably... Just whiskey. Well, maybe. Sure. Or whiskey coke. I feel like... Yeah. Vermouth... Amaretto. Have we, have we had a drink with bourbon or amaretto in it? Or amaretto, I don't think we uh, have. I only have the names of the drinks. Yeah. Unfortunately, not the... I could do lemon and, and amaretto and see if it comes up with amaretto sour. We'll see if that works. Yeah. There's amaretto sour, there's whiskey sour. Nope. nope. Didn't like that. <laughs> Bourbon, Campari, and Vermouth. Did we not do that one already? <laughs> They're um, all blending. Yeah. Uh, bourbon. Oh, there's the Campari. Which is an unforgiving bartender. Yeah, she doesn't like, uh, she only likes 16 drinks. That's all she likes, just the 16. I don't have to do it in the order, do I? I uh, know. But I don't think it likes you doing two. Maybe it doesn't care if you do like two bourbons or something, because mm. it only counts it as one. She's wasted. She's for wasted sure. for sure. Well, there's 20, how many ingredients? Five, what 10, four, 20. Boul oh. Boulevarder? Boule Boulevarder? Boulevarder? Boulevarder. Yeah. Very nice, very nice. It's quite the font. <laughs> Is there anything that determines whether you get pathetic or kill me now? <laughs> I think that might be random. Yeah. Or it might be in like a, a rotating order. Mm -hmm. Um, Good. Mm -hmm. Are you good? I'm trying to think if there's anything more. Anything more? Did you just try whiskey? Oh, I could try the whiskey sour. Yeah. Like the lemon and whiskey. Or just whiskey by itself. Lemon. But I mean, there's no simple syrup, so. Oh. A boulevardier is a man about town. Boulevardier. <laughs> oh, very nice. That sounds very old fashioned. I don't know if this is going to work, but we'll see. Nope. Kill me now. Bad. No whiskey Bad. and lemon. No good for we no good for that. It is a tune by Duke Ellington. Oh, nice. Oh, in the background. Yeah. Okay. Um, let me think. Anything more? I obviously haven't mixed drinks in a very long time, because I don't remember anything. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. There's tonic. I'm surprised gin and tonic didn't work. Did, did we try that one? Yeah. Did we do gin and tonic? We did, I think. I'm pretty sure I'm we I'm pretty did, sure yeah. we did. Rum, Rum coke, coke, and juice. juice. Yeah, maybe. Hey, you're, you're giving us all the answers. <laughs> I have to drive in a moment. I have to stop oh, now. Okay. <laughs> That's a good joke. With a lime. Rum, coke, juice. Sure. Let's try that one. How are you liking your... Um... It's fine. It's got a, a bit of a weird smell to it. Oh, that's the peach juice. Oh, that's what that is. Like, yeah, I find peach juice does have a bit smell. of a, a weird smell. It tastes it fine. Tastes amazing. Yeah, but the smell is very terrible. Like the vodka is like the I, smell. Like I know that it's peach now that you've told me that that smell is the peach. Yeah, it's the peach juice. I didn't have orange juice. Cuba Libre. Oh, 
Nice. Who suggested that? That was that was Carrie. <laughs> That's true. Oh, uh, cognac, amaretto, and ice. Okay. Uh, there's no cognac. Uh, Only brandy. Brandy, amaretto, and ice. Maybe might be something different. Just keep. We'll just mix stuff <laughs> together and, until one hits. Well, there's. All right, Vitoko. Thank many you for coming with us. Yeah. Thanks for hanging out, uh, yeah. Vitoko. Uh, for our drink extravaganza. Our early New Year's. It's New Year's somewhere. Yes. Extravaganza. Yeah. <laughs> Brandy and amaretto, I just can't imagine, but we'll try it. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't think that was going to be very good. <laughs> <clears throat> Okay. We good? Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah, I can drink more, but that's... Yep. <laughs> <laughs> we can do that off. Yeah, stream. Good stuff. Um, thank you so much, Carrie, for making this mm -hmm. uh, really unique, very unique game. That's for sure. Um, and uh, really fun, uh, fun graphics as mm -hmm. well. Cognac, amaretto, and ice is known as a French... French Connection. I saw oh. that as French Canadian when French I first Canadian. saw that. I was like, really? Um, excellent. Cheers to you too, and Cheers. and uh, very happy new, happy new Year. Happy holidays. A little happy early, but Happy New Year to everyone, and I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Um, yes. You're gonna bring up what's coming up next. Yes, we're excellent. just gonna take a quick look at what's in the future, right now. Oh, the black cat's back. Oh, black sweetie cat. kitten. So. Um, we're going to be playing Razor's Edge at some point, mm -hmm. the full game, trying to beat it. Um, I'm really busy at work right now, so I haven't had time to just do an impromptu show. Okay. Um, but it probably won't be tomorrow, because it's New Year's Eve. So it'll be sometime, and then probably after Tuesday. After Tuesday? Um, but on Tuesday, mm. uh, ZPH is getting interviewed. Yay! We're being interviewed <laughs> instead of interviewing a developer. That's right. Our good friend Giovanna mm. is going to come over here and uh, ask us some questions nice. written by you guys and herself nice. um, about the show, about us, about the cats, mm -hmm. uh, about everything. And you guys can ask questions in the chat as well. Um, so that's on Tuesday, uh, normal evening time. Um, and then later on in January, we're going to be doing the Atari 8-bit VBXE1 UMB special with my PAL uh, upgraded uh, Atari 800XL that I bought recently. There's a Jingle Cat coming. What is? What does he have? Oh, he dropped it before oh. I brought it in. It's a little Jingle Reindeer. You want to see the reindeer that yeah. Atari just brought us? I couldn't hear it. I heard jingling coming down the stairs. Uh, I'll put it on the cat cam. It's here. Oh. Oh, wait. Oh. oh, you are going to the cat camp. Yep. It is. Little Jingle Reindeer. <laughs> jingle Reindeer. Cute. Um, so we're going to be playing some games that are specially made <laughs> for the Atari 8-bit VBXE. Mm. Um, that's the upgraded video card. Um, also using the U1MB, which is a one megabyte upgrade RAM uh, for the system. So we're going to be playing at least Castlevania, Commando, Quadrillion, and Agakak, which is pronounced... Te terribly wrong um, and some other games because uh, we played some of these before mm. but not on an actual machine that's exciting yes and we'll be talking about what these upgrades do and what they allow you to do and um, stay with the knife <laughs> and the funny thing is is that the guy I bought it from oh yeah on eBay I didn't tell him who I was um, but he messaged me the other day saying I just figured out who you are. <laughs> You're from Zero Page. <laughs> which is awesome. Which is really cool. Yeah, he that's says, very oh, nice. I watch your show. That's which really is, nice. Which is really nice. Yeah. 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 Awesome. Um, so Thank I'll you. definitely alert him to that show so he can watch his, yeah. his system that he upgraded be uh, used on the show. Yeah. Very cool. Oh, uh, oh there he is. Let's. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, you can just see him in the corner. Oh, cute kitty. Good kitty. He brought, the, he brought it in. What did you bring? Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. Oh, adorable. 
Adorable. Oh, doesn't get cuter oh, than that. Oh, glad I got oh that he's got his toy, glad his Christmas present. Camera. Oh. Um, <laughs> Uh, in February-ish, we're going to be doing a uh, developer spotlight on Andrew Davey, um, developer extraordinaire, oh, plus awesome. an exclusive world premiere of his new game. Nice. Ooh. Yeah. Very exciting. And then also in February, late February, we're going to have, of course, the fifth annual Atari Homebrew Awards. Yes. The cutoff for games is tomorrow. Mm. At midnight. Mm. Well, eleven fifty nine fifty nine. So finish up your uh, last minute things in your game that right. you've been working on, and make sure you post it publicly. Mm -hmm. You know, video binary. Mm -hmm. um, and if you have finished your game, make sure you say it's done, finished, completed. Are you cute or what? And um, and because tomorrow's the cutoff, um, so that's exciting. And uh, I'll be <laughs> processing all of the games and getting them ready for the nomination committee so we've got lots of people going to be that are on the nomination committee going yeah. to be helping out with that and then the votes open in february for you guys to vote for the public but we'll, i'll be talking about that for the next two months <laughs> um so just an overview now um yeah so those are the big things coming up lots of cool games that we'll be playing as mm -hmm. well and of course we always play all the nominees mm -hmm. as well yes as soon as the uh nominations are announced so we announce the nominees and play through all the nominees which are like the best games released in 2022 uh some of the best games anyway mm -hmm. um so that's i'm looking forward to that so i'll put that in the calendar mm -hmm. as well um plus there's jaguar this year that we're adding as awesome well. Yep. It's going to be a great year. Yeah, yep. it's going to be really great because I have a Jaguar this year to play them on. Mm -hmm. And by then, I should have the uh, my links as well. Hey, stop that. Go get your reindeer. Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. There you go. Good kitty. <laughs> so thanks uh, so much for mm -hmm. uh, hanging out with us tonight. Uh, you'll have to scroll up yep. there. Oh, sure. Uh, Atari 2600 dude, RC70, Mr. Zarnawoop, where is my scrolly? There we go. Uh, Ivory Tower Collections, Dan ABC, Nostalgic 26, Carry Cack, um, Old Style Vitoko, uh, Mr. Zarnawoop, I think I said already. Hi. Ooh. Kaboomer! Getting to the top here. Smoked 3D4. Or Smoked 4. I don't know. I just think it <laughs> Smoked 3D4. Yeah. Yep. Smoked 3D4. Uh, Dan yeah. ABC. Yep. Meow. Mm. Cafe Man 2D. Cafe Man Carl 2D. G. Carl G. Spiceware. Oh my goodness. I'm going too fast. Tar 2600, dude. Yay. Chelsea Dunny Mal. Oh, this cat's crazy. <laughs> Man, yeah. Ivory Tower Collections probably said that. Yes, I think we're getting close to the top here. Cat's excited. Yeah. Okay. I think. I yep. Think... So thanks for tuning in. Yep. Uh, uh, really amazingly fun games today. Elevator Agent. Yeah. By uh, Champ Games, and uh, Lunar Patrol. <laughs> um, Kitties. You are so crazy. Uh, Lunar Patrol oh, from Old geez. Style and uh, Drunk Witch from Carrie Caxon. Yes. Caxon then, uh, Carrie. Amazing games today. Thank you all to all the developers who hung mm -hmm. out in the chat as yes. well. It was great to have you uh, talk about your games. Yes. And thank you to again to John Shampo yes. for coming on uh, and being interviewed again. Yeah. Again. Yeah. With a I great game. I think he's definitely the most interviewed person I on this so. channel. I think so. Um, and uh, uh, happy holidays and have a happy new year. Yes. Tomorrow evening or yes. wherever you are in the world. And and you know here's hoping 2023 was better than 2022. <laughs> exactly. And yes. 2021 and 2020. So <laughs> yes. just keeps uh, getting better, it just, right? just got to yeah. get better. <laughs> okay. So um, thank you for tuning in and yeah. hanging out with us. And we will see you next year. Yes. <laughs> see you, see you uh, on Bye, Tuesday, everyone. Bye-bye.